Nothing's coming out. Keep trying. Welcome to another Mailbag Friday. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, it's Perry Caraville Alive. As you can see on my uh, a baseball jersey or, or coach, you know, if I was a coach to a baseball team jersey. All right, yes, this is another Mailbag Friday. I got some good news and I got some bad news. Good news is, yes, I'm still alive. But some crazy news. I was watching the news last night on TV. We got uh, some crazy people delivering Uber Eats to total strangers in the Inland Empire that never ordered any food from McDonald's, from Carl's Jr., from Jack in the Box, from uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. So, so what I wrote down was Uber Eats orders went nuts. Uh, not only at my house, but to total strangers in Highland Park. And they put it on the news. So whoever's uh, doing these Uber Eats orders, to uh, it was not from me. The Uber Eats were not from me, but I get the same crap uh, sent to my house. So, uh, yeah, it's going everywhere. So I guess we're trying to... Uh, Grease the bearings of Uber Eats and just send people food randomly. That's insanity. But uh, yeah, that is literal insanity. Total strangers never ordered the food and they got the. <clears throat> I mean, I, I never order food to eat out. I usually like to go pick it up myself. OK. But that's how I am. I've, I've always been that way. I don't like to have uh, food sent to me and stuff. But, you know, I got a zillion fans that like to send me food. So uh, it's an honor that I have all you folks that uh, love me so much. I'm very thankful to have that. And uh, to get all the food that you guys send me is uh, it's a little over overbearing, but you know, thank you. I appreciate it. I do. Thank you very much. Okay. The thing about it is, especially when it's something I like. You guys want to send me stuff I don't like and force me to eat stuff I don't like. Filet of fish. I can never I never like filet of fish. <clears throat> now I'm eating filet of fish sandwiches. Um, uh, the, the, these hot wings with extremely, extremely, extremely hot peppers. I was never one of those kinds of guys. I never eat those super hot, hot, hot peppers. And here you guys are sending me the hot shit. Oh, he'll eat it. Yeah, he could, he could take it. Yeah. Dare him to do this. Dare him to do that. Yeah. Thanks. I have stomach issues, and you guys are doing this to mess me up even more. What can I say? Hey, good morning, Perry. Good morning, Tom. Uh, I, I have to say, uh, a lot of uh, reviews in for uh, Wednesday for your uh, Weather Matters stream. Uh, Thank mixed, you. Mixed on, on, a, on a lot, but mostly positive. I, I personally Thank loved you. it. Uh, it was very easy for me. Uh, what did you think of the uh, Weather Matters? Uh, I thought it was fun. Um, I know, you know, I never went to weather school to learn how to be a weatherman or any of that. Uh, again, I thought it was fun. Um, it would be an honor to uh, take a little, take a, you know, I don't know if it would be two classes or four classes or three three months in a weather school to uh, learn how to be a weatherman. 
But uh, yeah, it would be uh, kind of cool to learn how to uh, uh, be a weatherman. Well, I, I think he did an okay job. I mean, as far as just uh, you know, relating... monitoring the weather next well, to me yeah, on the I mean, set. Yeah. Listen, listen. If I was like in your ear or on the stream, I would have been like, "Hey, Perry, like, look, like." There was a couple times where you were just like staring at the TV for like minutes on end. Uh, Here... Go ahead. Here's the thing I want to say though. This season's snow season. If you're not going to allow me to go to the snow at oh, all, this different season, top, different topic. You're not changing topics. We're talking about this. We're talking about this. Different topic. We're talking about the weather matter stream on Wednesday. Uh, I was saying that I think overall you did a very good job. See how you just didn't Thank pay you. attention to me there. You didn't. You don't. You weren't paying attention on the stream. You got to realize, at any given point, you've got people watching you live. Right. So when you're right. Fo focused on watching TV, you know, it, it's, yeah, you know, but that's some of the charm of it. I, I get it. Uh, and then you did shut down the stream, which uh, was At unfortunate. The very end. Yeah, but well, you made it the very end. I, I wish you could have held out a little bit longer and had a nice closing. I wasn't going to give you any assistance at all. If you notice, I wasn't even going to answer the phone right. or anything like that. Right. So it was all you. Although I was behind the scenes, you know, running things, but. Uh, for me, my personal opinion on it, I loved it, and I'm not saying I'm saying that completely unironically. I'm not saying that to like kiss your butt or anything. I what I loved that. about it is it was yep. a completely stress-free stream for me. Uh, I was just honestly, it was the first time I ever watched PC alive. <laughs> like, because normally I have to like I'm completely entrenched in it and doing all this stuff. Hey, right, you're you're over there. I was just sitting back watching it, and like you know, I was. The only thing I was direct, I was directing the pace of the tip comments and, you know, the usual stuff like that. But honestly, I, it was great for me. Uh, so would you be willing to do that again? Uh, people have asked about that, and I said yes, once a month. Once a month? Once a month. Not not once a week. Once, once, once a month. I think that's fair. Okay, so maybe, yeah. like, whatever, the... Uh, second or third week of each month, or the first of the month. Well, second week of. Out? I'm thinking because we did it. Uh, what off of two days ago? Let's see, today's. Yeah. Yeah, two days you ago. Did it, 15th. You did it basically the. Yeah, third the middle week of the month. month. Middle of the month. Middle of the month. Bingo, okay. the fifteenth, middle of the month. Yeah, I. I, think... I wasn't thinking about the date being the fifteenth, but yeah, let's do it every the middle of the month. Yeah, I liked it. It was just a different flow, and it was just exactly you know you kind of doing you. Uh, by the way, copying. No, no bathroom breaks, which I was shocked at because I was worried about that because it was going to be completely dead air because it wasn't going to play any music or anything like that. So uh, you you didn't uh, do that. It was uh, it was good. Well, I wasn't I wasn't yelling at people. One, I wasn't drinking water. Hardcore two. <clears throat> well, you were yelling at people a little bit. A little bit, but not not as much as I am on, on my normal well, again, of live stream. You're you're in control of how you handle these. Can I can I just let people in on something? Can I talk about the phone call you gave me on Wednesday? I mean, this, 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 this was well, well, this is before. This is Wednesday morning. Uh, well, Wednesday, yeah, like around this time. Okay, a little earlier, on Wednesday, the day of the Weather Matters stream, and I get a call from Perry. And uh, he's like groggy, and he's like, uh, it was very quick. And uh, I, I, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I, I answered it like right away. And he was like, uh, what you people did to me last night on that stream was insanity. And it will never be allowed again to have a guy with an animal in my apartment, oh, a, a small bear, and it's jumping on my mother's dresser, my dining room table, and my lounge chair. N never, that is never to happen again. Now, he's very sleepy, this, and uh, he's not really screaming. And I said, when was this, Perry? Last night. And I said, well, Perry, we, oh, didn't, yeah. stream. we didn't stream last night. And what did you say, Perry? The animal that came in my house. And what did you say after I said we didn't stream last night? I didn't remember. You said, oh. And then I said, what, was that a dream you had? And he said, he's like, yeah, I guess. 
I All guess right. so. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> so, yeah. Things are. I thought maybe you did a stream without me. <laughs> no, you were. No, uh... uh, I had, must have must have had a dream. Because I don't even remember you saying that to you. Yeah, that was Wednesday, and uh, th throughout the day, did you do any pre uh, preparation work for the weather stream? A little bit, like I was talking about the. Uh, the uh, um, Uber Eats matter. No, 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 no. <clears throat> I don't mean prepare. Oh, oh, I, I know oh, you oh. didn't prepare for this stream. Oh, um, the uh, the weather that's going on. There's just so much snow dropping in Northern California. It's just incredible, and I was watching that on TV, and just in awe of everything coming out of the sky up up in uh, Lake Tahoe area. They've got over 50 feet of snow in Lake Tahoe right now. Some chairlifts are not allowed to move because of how much snow is up there. It's covering the chairlift. There's chairs stuck in the snow because of how deep the snow is. <clears throat> it's crazy. Those that'll hike up to the top of the mountain or are skiing by these these chairs that are stuck halfway in the snow. I saw a picture of that, and I was just shocked. And the other thing I wanted to remind you of is uh, since we moved it from Monday, we had a uh, stunt that we were going to do, and then Monday went late. Uh, a lot of it had to do with you rage quitting. But uh, Monday went late. I'm going to try this next Monday. I'm really going to try to make that under six hours. But Monday, uh, we, didn't meet, we did not meet that mark on uh, Monday. We went, uh, well, you went about eight hours, and then I went a couple hours after that. But uh, we're not going to do that this Monday. Okay. We can't do that anymore. I mean, it's just too nuts. Okay, can you just pick up the energy a little it's, bit? It's I can't too nuts. We no, can't no, I don't, no, do no. that Perry. anymore. Hey, Perry, when I tell you to pick up the energy a little bit, it doesn't mean for you to yell directly in the microphone. It just means a little bit. Okay? A little bit. Because I, I was having a hard time hearing you. We can't do that anymore. No, see? Now you got to pick it up a little more. That's too far back. It's very funny. Okay, listen. Anyway. All right. That's going to be dependent on you. You know, all your defiant darts and everything. That all, that all adds to the time. So today, though, we moved the live stunt because it was so uh, crazy to today. And if you don't remember what the live stunt is, uh, luckily I'm here to remind you, uh, you're going to coat your torso in vegetable oil and wrestle the dog, giraffe, and any other PCL pets that you have. Uh, I think there's a cat. Uh, so there's a back and forth, okay? And you have to use a finishing move on each animal and pin them for a, a three count. So you may want to lay some towels. I don't want to wait till the end of this stream. I think we're going to do that maybe in about an hour. So we'll just lay some towels down and just get that out of the way because you already paid for it. So I, I want to do that. Jesus. Again, not now. Not you now. got towels laid down right now. Okay, you got towels okay. down already. Great. Great. Okay. Yeah. So we'll move. And actually, I want to move this chair oh, into like the dining room. What, what's this about the dining room? Well, if you pull up and, and join me, I, I'd tell you. I'd want to move the... Um, uh, this chair into... will not fit. i got to pick it up over the couch. Well, yeah, if you I pick can... it up just, just to clear space. That's all. If that's I can all. lift now, it over. Not now. Again, not now. Not now. Not now. Because of this right side of my arm, I don't know if I can lift it up over the couch. Okay, it's a very yeah. light chair. Very. Uh, other than that, okay, that was it. So, okay, so you're willing to do the weather matters stream again and i don't know do we keep the topic to weather or do we keep it or do we keep shifting it to a different topic of something you like i like the weather thing i think you did a good job personally <clears throat> i'll stick with the weather because you do and i'm like i wasn't being like i was being slightly sarcastic but i wasn't being like crazy sarcastic when i said you love the weather and you're passionate about it anybody who watched that like i'm, I'm being serious i'm not like going for a laugh you yeah. do have a passion for the weather, like you are. I do. Not just your own weather, but weather in other places. Maybe. Yeah. 
maybe do a little bit more research next time. Maybe we could put like overlays, like the five day forecast and like here and there, and like, you know, do some things. Now I can't control what comments come in. That's up to the people out there if they want to submit comments on topic or not. Uh, I will say you did scream over a couple of comments that I thought was rude. I would, I would prefer top um, comments to be respectful. Yeah. I mean, uh, I want to get away from the negativity right. and the Perry, disrespect okay. comments. You're out of your mind. Uh, that's never going to happen. But maybe on the weather stream, that could be more on topic. Again, that's up to the people at home and how they choose to spend uh, their money on sending in a comment. Now, as I was saying, you did scream over a couple of them. Whenever a comment comes up, you really should scream over it. So I am going to replay those from Wednesday because I, I don't feel some people got a fair shake on their comments. But other than that, I thought it was great. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention before we start opening a couple of mailbag is, and I did mention this to you, uh, you got a pretty big mention on the, I'll wait till you're done touching whatever you're doing on the desk. I'm looking for a blade so I can open the packages. Right. Go uh, ahead. The other day, you got a pretty big mention on the Anthony Cumia show uh, where- Which was nice. Which is very nice, and I think uh, you've heard it, but maybe people uh, haven't. But uh, Shuli was a guest, and he mentioned you, and the fact that you and Anthony Cumia and many others are going to be where? Well, on Potsdam, PA, of course, at, uh, Soul Joe's at the Uncle Rico right. Show Live. You know what's interesting about this flyer? Probably the most important uh, information uh, about this live show is not on the flyer which is the date. What's the date, Perry? The date? Uh, well, because you made me move my stuff. Now, I, fact, it's May 13th. May 13th. In lieu, in lieu May of you 13th, doing desk stuff. Awesome. Let's, no desk stuff. May 13th. Okay. Can you stop with the desk stuff? I didn't realize it would be that hard. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, because you made me move stuff. I didn't have to. If I didn't have to move stuff over there, I wouldn't why did have I, the problem. Why did I make you move stuff? You said move my mouse and move my. Oh, no, yes, my and put those back where they were. Put those back where they were, so you don't. Well, now I'm gonna remembering no. them down no. here again. So no. if put I have them to back, go over Perry. here, put them back where they were. Put them back where they were. Jesus. I did that so you don't uh, quit your show. Well, here. now if I have to go over there and you see don't. what it says. You, Perry, Perry, I thought it would be easy for you to remember. I didn't think you were gonna reach for a sheet. May thirteenth. I, I don't remember dates like that. Okay. Anyway, can can you please pay attention to stuff my, with the desk stuff? My, my you, save all, the, you can do all the desk stuff you want on weather matters. Okay, here uh, I'd like you to pay attention. Yeah, it's not a very good flyer. Let's just. Uh, it's, it's not a very good flyer, but it's May thirteenth. Okay, open the screen back up again, please. Okay, so see, that's why I didn't want you to touch everything. Now I got to do extra work because you can't figure out how to basic troubleshoot. Perry, get your hands off the mouse. You're gonna mess things up. Okay, when I asked you what the date was, I thought you would just rattle it off. What did you do here? I did nothing but move things. You completely screwed up the system. Hold you blame on. me. I am going to blame you. I pray for the rest of the stream, you're not allowed to touch anything on the desk except the opening the box, okay? Nothing else. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I didn't think I didn't think asking you for a date. See, even what you're doing right now, don't do that. Okay? Mm. Uh, so anyway, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet to see Perry live <clears throat> and uh, others live, thank you for belching right in my ear. Uh, go Sorry. to theshulynetwork.com. Uh the VIP allotment, I don't know what that is. I don't know where the capacity is, but you want the VIP tickets, 40 bucks, ridiculously priced. Probably the same person who uh, set the prices actually did this uh, poster without the date. Anyway, it'll be a good show. But uh, Anthony Cumia on the Anthony Cumia show gave you a nice, well, no, Shuli on the Anthony Cumia show gave you a really nice shout out. Uh, so I just want to play that if anybody missed it. Okay? Sure. Go for it. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention another huge addition to the lineup. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this man's body of work, but oh. Mr. Perry Caravello will be making a very rare 
public appearance, his only time on the East Coast. Yes. And he's doing that show with us. That's I exciting. Saw, I saw that. He has a show that is fully audience interactive. Uh, I mean, it's like nothing I've ever seen before, Anthony. These people, throughout the entire show, they pay him to do stuff he doesn't want to do. And he eventually does it all. Like... He started the show the other day with this sweater on, and somebody says, somebody donates, they'll go, they'll give you $200 if you cut the sleeves off the sweater and, and make it a belly shirt on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. And he's screaming, he's like, I'm not fucking doing it. I'm not away. fucking doing it. And 10 minutes later, he's cutting the fucking sweater. He's it's 200 there with bucks. No, it's 200 bucks. So it's this beautiful tug of war. He's like nothing I've ever seen before. So he'll be joining us. That's great. Uh, people people send fast food to his house all, while he streams. Yeah. He, he does these streams for like eight hours, and people just keep sending fish fillets. And he eats He, he eats screams, I'm not going to eat this shit. Oh, he goes, oh, I okay. hate fish fillets. And then he eats it. <laughs> all right, let me, let, me, let me see. Turn up the volume here. I do. Hey, no, we don't. Oh, you. Oh, you. So the voice is Tom, oh, his producer. Shit. You're breaking handler. the golden arches on the bag. I don't give a shit. There's a coffee. I don't want the coffee. Put it on the desk, please. We don't put drinks back in the bag. That's not allowed either. <laughs> I don't want what's in here. You could use the coffee. Coffee's good. They have good coffee. I got fucking bang energy in front of me. Coffee's good, too. It's good to have both. Here's nice, nice napkins. How many years ago was that movie? That and two Whitney fucking did? fish fillets. <laughs> uh, I don't want them. We have to see them, Perry. We have to see them. You can't just throw them back in the bag. Come on, we've been doing this a long time now. It's taunting him. Doing it long enough to say no. More. Sit down. Fucking garbage. Oh, the is gonna be great. Come back, God, God fucking damn it, son of a bitch. He just fell. Son of a That's what I have to That's Dude. his place? Yeah, his apartment is just continuously filling up. Yeah, it took forever. What can clean that up? People bring. Okay, or uh, send what him. What a pain in the ass that was. Right. And what is Fuck. the, uh, he does stand up, apparently. Shit. Well. <laughs> well. No, uh, I can't eat fast food anymore. This is driving me nuts. This is really making me sick. Ugh. <laughs> He's a mess. He really is. is there somebody outside? If you would like to see him in the wild, uh, you can search the shopping cart one. one. Uh, the, the shopping yes, cart one? Oh, yeah. You, that group cart not, narcs? Yeah, yeah. They actually, they actually confronted him one day in the parking lot, and it's actually a very funny piece of tape because it's Perry. There's no off switch for Perry. Right. So. His reaction to them is not great. And uh, this, and of, of course, course, are the guys that go around and, and uh, chastise people for not returning the cart yes. uh, yeah. to the, the cart exactly rack uh, in yeah. the parking lots of shopping centers. Yeah. I can't wait till one of them gets shot in the face for oh, doing that. I will as soon as you return your cart. Uh, they, Would you like a magnet instead? Magnet. Oh, he put this magnet on his no, car. Sir. Get your fucking shit <laughs> off my fucking Car. As soon as you take your car, get the fuck out of here, motherfucker! <laughs> why you put? Why are you put? Get the fuck out of here, bitch! Your fucking ass, sir. <laughs> oh, E-Rock, yes, sir. So uh, Perry's reached out to us. He's oh. a fan of yours. He wants to come on the show. I didn't yes. know if you knew who he was, so I didn't pitch it. But if oh, you'd like to have him on, we can have him on. Let's do it before the fucking uh, gig. Yeah, sure, we could have him on. Oh, no, fuck yourself! Oh, awesome. Okay, and yeah. Course, and of I'll, course, I'm on uh, a second. Look, Anthony, my friend, I'm looking forward to being on your show. Looking forward to meeting all you folks out there in uh, Pottstown, PA. It'll be very fun. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be a ton of fun. It'll be a ton of fun. So, I don't know uh, how <clears> it's going to go, but I think what's going to happen is... Uh, by the way, very cool. Uh, thanks. I, I sent uh, Shuli yeah. a text. Uh, that, that was a very nice shout out on uh Yes. Thank uh, you. Thank you. But, Thank uh, you. So I think the Monday after the Pottstown show, which would be Monday, May 15th, is, and that's just, I don't know how this is going to work with all the caravan of PCL crew, uh, but uh, we're going to, you and me are going to go to New York. I think Jim might come. Uh, Garrett might come, you know, they got to figure out the schedule stuff. You and me, you and me for sure. Uh, and you 
are going to go on Kumia's show mo that Monday and then also do uh, Chrissy Mars' pi uh, show that's on the Kumia network after Kumia called The Wet Spot. So it'll be a double header on the compound uh, that day. So that'll be exciting. The girls better not be peeing on me. I don't need to get wet. No, no, I guess that's not funny. Somebody's knocking on my door. Hold on. Or, or what's outside? Was that a rude remark about the girls peeing on me? I think so. Forgive me, girls. I, I, I don't mean to be rude. Okay, wet spot, you know. I'm the guy that needs to be. No, I don't need it, but people like to abuse me. Beat me up. Treat me like trash. But it will be a blast to see Anthony Cumia as well as everybody else over there. I look forward to it. Again, what's at the door? I don't know, Perry, but why don't you get to a mailbag first? Now, those mailbags on your uh, chair, are those from the actual sack that have been sitting there for a while? They're, yes, yes. Okay, yes, good. That's, that's what I said. Okay, let's pick uh, something at random. First, this box. Start with that. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see what this Perry Caravello. Thank you for supporting our small business. Another Jerry Seinfeld prayer candle. Oh, God. Jerry, thank you, but I really don't need this stuff, my friend. Jerry Seinfeld prayer candle. Another one of these. I don't need it. I don't like candles in my home. Uh, That's probably smart, actually. Uh, I'll sit you here for now. Yeah, I'm not a candle light kind of guy. Okay, next box. I'm gonna do hey, box. Well, before, before you get to that, Perry, was that every? Was that all? That, was there any other note in that before you just breathe? No, past it? no, there was no note. Okay. Just a receipt. Okay. And this is a. What the hell? That doesn't look eatable. Mr. Caravello, here are the fake poops. What? Here are the fake poops you ordered for your piss and shit patty. I never ordered this garbage. We hope they uh, will, will attract people to visit your your patio and leave their their own real human shits kindly regards from club 102 supplies oh you, you go fuck yourselves whoever you are excuse me i didn't want to say that word uh today but you know stop stop going down the road of uh piss and shit patio okay stop going down that road because there is no my patio is right, not Perry, a garbage can 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 you explain, so, excuse me see perry i want to see it i live can in you, an apartment building perry can you okay. hear me i want to see can you take it out of the plastic zip lock bag oh.
Bobo A piece fake. Okay. It's fake. So these are these are the well, fake. Can you take poops. it out of the plastic? Can we look at it? I don't want to open this crap. I understand you might not I'll want open to open one. It, but I'm that's opening kind of one, and that is it. You opening mail is kind of what this stream is based around. So I am opening one, and that is it. That's okay. Fine. That's fine. This is supposed to be poop. Is it edible? Did it say? No. No. All right. Let's just just leave it there. Just leave it there. I'm not leaving it here. It's garbage. All this is trash. Edible. How dare you try to tell me that this is edible garbage? I thought I heard edible. Ed okay. Again, don't throw no, it away. I just, I just asked you not to throw it away. I literally just asked you not to throw it away. I, I, I'm not. I, there's no need for me to have this stuff Harry, in my home. Can you just not throw that away? Just the poop. Just the poop, please. You don't have to keep all the packaging and stuff. I don't know. It might come in useful. Oh, God almighty. I'll keep one, and that is the one that I opened up. That's fine. All right, and Rest when you're ready, trash. you can get that uh, delivery at your door. There's quite a few items here. Quite a few items here. Things I got like this. this. There's all that noise out there. Oh, they're doing construction here. Okay. Wow, okay. You got more stuff than that? Yes. All right, go get it. Oh, this is. Wait, what happened? That's sort of a big thing out there. What was that? A what? A big thing out there. Where is that? Yeah, I know. So go get it. Oh, I... Hang on. Were you trying to hide that? No, damn you! How long is this going to take? Well, I'm looking at the front of it. Right. Well, th you should do that on camera. <sighs> You're taking that? my Toyota FX16 and saying that it's a Kia, which is bull, one. Uh, two, they're, they're trying to say I'm like Tony the Tiger uh, with my shop back over there, my, my uh, um, um, Craftsman uh, wet and dry vac. And then on the back, I don't know what it says. Uh, let me read it to you, folks. It says, Mr. Caravello, correctly spelled, thank you. We are the Disney Channel love. Whoa, whoa. we're the Disney Channel. We love your stream. Thank you very much. Especially your obsession with tigers. Okay, if you want to call it an obsession. I don't have the obsession. My mom, my mom liked the big, big, big tigers. Okay, we have created a new series, Perry the Tiger, based on you. That's an honor. That's an honor. Perry is a tiger who loves skateboarding. I don't love fillet of fish. Get that out of there. I hate I hate fillet of fish. And solving crimes 
in his Kia. I never owned a Kia. I owned a Toyota FX16, which I don't have any longer. We have asked our lawyers, and they say we we don't have to pay you since uh, you are not an actual tiger. Also, Perry, the tiger does not blow any dudes because it is it is a kid's show. Why would you even make that remark? That's demoralizing and disgusting. Why would you even go down that road? Hey, where, are you, where are you darting off to? Do you understand you're doing a live stream and the audience... I know what I'm doing. I know no, what I'm you doing. Don't. I want to see that. Can you bring it back over here, please? Oh, you're a prick! Oh, I want to see that. Yeah, I'm... why wouldn't I want to see it? You want to see what it says? No, I just, I heard your eloquent reading of it. I don't need to see that side. Obviously, I want to see the other side. Thank you. Can you point to it? Like without bopping I think that's great now is it what, what's that what's over here can you make, bring it a little closer I just want to see all the details here there's, I think this there's a is lot a of, swimming pool well, that I can this see this is a swimming pool is there a dog in there is that a dog that's me no, I know that's you that's Perry tiger. Right, can that's you please bring it closer can you please bring it closer I, I don't know how much more I could explain. Okay, yeah, that black thing next to the car, is that a dog that you beat? That's a vacuum cleaner, you dumbass. Is, is it? Okay, I can't That's tell That's a vacuum fire. cleaner. Can you tilt it up? Because the, the horrible glare from your uh, apartment is, okay. I, I like it. It looks cool. Thank you. Yeah, put it in the, put it, yeah, it uh, looks... put it to the side. Put it on the lounge chair, let's, like next to you. Let's showcase it for the stream. Right there. Like put it on top of the mail there. Yeah, right there. Okay, now we can get to the other stuff. I think that's awesome, and uh, thank you to whoever sent that. Yeah, so they don't have to pay me, so they can, so they can screw me. So the Disney Channel better start paying me some money. They're going to use my name and and, and my and and uh, talk about me. I mean, they first started with. Uh, this uh, Phoenix and Ferb uh, idea, and then, well, what do they do? They got a guy named Perry, all based behind me. A little private detective looking kind of guy. A little funny character. What was my idea as a stand up comic? A little private detective slash Dick Tracy looking kind of guy. But I always loved Arthur Fonzarelli, so that's where the leather jacket came in. So that's where, you know, the leather jacket and then the uh, fedora brim. I don't know why I have a. Wait, I thought you oh, ripped off. I thought you ripped off the uh, fedora from uh, that Tony Alva guy. I didn't rip it off from him. I mean, we were all skateboarders, and we're still all skateboarders. So, yeah, that's a part of it. Now, what's here for breakfast? Let's see what they got. I like Carl Jr., that I will admit. Looks like uh, a breakfast burrito with hash marks. Here's the hash marks. And a breakfast burrito. Whoever sent this food, thank you very much. Well appreciated. I, I am very thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No more Uber Eats, please. Let's see here. Eh. Yeah, that's good breakfast. What's that's inside? A breakfast. Is that a breakfast burrito? Like, what's inside? Yeah. Eggs, sausage, um, 
basically that's it. Okay. A little tomato, some cheese. What was that green drink that you got? This it's like a um it says fiber green on that's here. Probably, that's probably good for you. Yeah, of course. One of those one of those um um uh, protein drinks you get at, at like a um oh, what do they call those? You know what I'm talking about, like a, a big protein shake shop that you would find near a gym or outside of a gym. Right. How is it? How would you rate it? Give, give it about a seven, seven or eight. How have you been doing with the fast food eating af uh, off the stream, you know, like you've uh, pledged that you're going to do? Well... Like I said this morning, I had a bowl of Cheerios with an apple in it. So well, I mean, I'm today. staying away. I'm talking about the rest trying of the Trying to week. stay away. I'm trying to stay away. I am trying to stay away. I know, I know, I know, I know. And yesterday, you saw me go to this, uh, California Pizza Kitchen, CPK, for, um, what did I get when I was there? So it was absolutely delicious. Um, oh, you sent me a picture of that. I don't remember what, what you got. Yeah, I forgot what it is. It's on you, my got phone. Salad. you got a salad and something else. Yeah, oh, oh, a, a goat cheese pizza and a salad. Yeah, okay. I mean, okay. Uh, that's more chain restaurant. That's, I wouldn't necessarily file that as um, fast food. What else have you been eating this week? I'm on grocery shopping. Yeah. Okay, but that's, not, that's not, obviously that's what I'm, I mean. Like eating out, like wise. Let me see. I haven't been. So I've, I've been trying to stay home. Oh, and you went so to like Denny's. Said, when, like, Denny's. That was the one that I was thinking. Uh. Okay. What did you get at Denny's? Holy smokes! You went there. Actually, you went there right <laughs> after the weather stream. Yeah. You, well. <clears throat> um. Did I get at Denny's? I, I I got I think just a burger. They're they're changing their menus over there as well, so. Um, and you went to Carl's Jr. You did go to Charles Jr. I think you went there on Tuesday, so you did go to fast food this week. Unfortunately, you can't stay away from Carl's Jr. Which you get at, at least Carl's it was Jr. once a week rather than five days right, a week. It should be no days a week because outside of the streaming. I'm cutting down. Hmm. Cutting down rather than every day. Yeah, I'm cutting down. Right, but you were supposed to eliminate it outside of the stream is what my point is. What was the other I, delivery? I well, before you start finishing this burrito, what were the other deliveries? Can we just check those real quick before we get into anything else? That was it. No, it wasn't it. You got other bag. You got another bag there. I could have sworn I saw a Taco Bell bag. This bag? No. It's it's a Movita Movita. No, I I don't. Bag. I'm not looking for extra bags, but I could have sworn it's I saw a taco. No. Am I crazy? It was the I, bag I, and the Carl Jr. bag, and that was it. Do you know if I took my lactate pills for breakfast? Not today. At any point, I don't you think gonna, I like, did. Uh, tell me that you were going away for a poop or. Yeah, I don't think I took lactate pills. Oh, well, you're supposed to take those with the uh, thing. 
No, you uh, take them before. You take them thirty minutes before you eat, not with the food. You take them fifteen to thirty minutes before you eat, so your your stomach has digested the pills before the food comes in. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, uh, before we left, uh, I was asking uh, if there were any other bags, but I guess uh... no. No. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Uh, why don't we? Uh, well, I'll just. How about this? I, let me catch up on some comments uh, while you finish your burrito. All right. Perry, please give the weather for Denver, Colorado. I need to know if my cock will freeze if I don't wear pants. If so, please send me your cock warmer. I don't have those. Sorry. Don't be stupid. When you're in Colorado, you know you've got to wear pants. And you were flying. Can't wait to see you in Pottstown. What will the weather be like on May 13th when you will be in Pottstown and not in your apartment? I have no idea. I don't know. Hopefully under 100 degrees. Uncomfortable. I'm both comfortable. Perry, please tell us a story about how other affected your skateboarding. Please, skateboard, skateboard, thunderstorm, lightning showers. I like to skateboard out of the uh, away from thunderstorms and lightning showers. So those are the days that we don't skateboard. Does that kind of bear that, that kind of weather ruins your ball bearings? Especially the precision bearings. It ruins those bearings. So I stay off my skateboard in, in uh, wet weather. Um, and it's very dangerous, too, when you skateboard in wet weather. So, no. That's when you don't skateboard. Um, again, I don't know what the weather's going to be like in Pottstown when we get out there. So Today is, is uh, March 17th. Um, 17th, I got, I got an appointment this afternoon. Um, 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 um. It's St. Patrick's Day, Perry. Are you doing anything for St. Patrick's Day? Oh, no, no, no. You going, out, going on a pub crawl? No. No, okay. No. I used to get the green beer and go to TJ Fridays, but the TJ Fridays is, uh, uh, now being rebuilt to become a new restaurant. Not a TJ Fridays? The one over here in Woodland Hills is no longer here. The one in Porter Ranch is still there, so I'm not going to... No, the one that you say is being rebuilt to a new restaurant, is it being rebuilt for a new TJ Fridays or rebuilt for a, no. something different? No, okay. it, uh, Ruth Chris oh. brought it out. Wow. Yeah, Ruth Chris brought out the old Fridays. Okay, uh, just a bit of a service note to anybody uh, watching... Uh, normally, I keep the mailbag streams up on YouTube, obviously, barring a technical issue, which happened today. So, uh, some point after the stream, I'm going to edit the two together and then re-upload that. So, that'll be backed up at some point today. So, if you don't see them up later, don't don't panic. They'll, they're coming. It just uh, takes a little time to uh, encode them and upload them and all that. Uh, okay. okay. And you got nothing else, right? There's no... I swear in my brain, I saw... No! You saw okay. two bags. The second bag is is uh, okay. is this bag. This is not a Taco Bell bag. Got you. It's okay. this bag. Maybe that's what I confused with the Taco Bell bag. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. Let's, let's open up these boxes. Well, not the plural. Just, just get to one. Just get to one. Okay. I don't want to do rapid fire mailbag because we've got a lot of other stuff too. Oh, if this is... Oh, Christ. I don't like what I'm hearing. Because, uh...
Yeah, M and M's like fucking crazy. No, thank you. No, thank you. We'll check the note. No, 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 I'm no, just Skittles. No, thank you. Right. Can you check the note, please? The note says, Mr. Caravello, we are excited for the return of Skittles, man. No, no way. And are giving you 2.5 pounds of Skittles to eat. Are you out of your mind? I'm not putting one Skittle in my mouth. In the hide in your apartment, they they can also be chewed and and spit on your on your piss and shit patio from Skittles Incorporated. Forget about it. You're nuts. Your Skittles is garbage. Garbage. Got it? Garbage. Don't ever send me Skittles again. Fucking trash. Goddamn poison. I hope this is the last box. Okay. And this box is... Trump. Okay, what is he sending me? What is Papa Trump sending me? Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. This is funny. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. A Donald Trump Kendall. A Donald Trump Kendall, okay? Hang on. I like it. I don't even want to take it out of the box. I like it a lot, actually. Was there yeah, a note I like it a lot. Out? Thank you so much. This is from the Trumps. Was there a note? No note. Okay. Oh, it's this just trying me on the back. Can you put it up to the microphone so we can hear it? I have no choice but to tell you you're fired. I have no choice but to tell you you're fired. To all my employees, this is what I tell you when I fire you. Everyone, including Tom. Uh, thank you very much to the Trumps, Donald Trump, uh, young Donald Trump, Eric Trump, the girls, everybody. Uh, shoot, I have no. And my boss, I have no. I have no choice but to tell you, you're fired. Oh, oh, oh! I'm gonna add that to the. But, uh, I have no choice but to tell you you're fired. Kind, okay. kind word. Um, let me get the, this uh, Tom's tips out before I'm fired. Please don't dart at any more mail. All right. All right. All right. Uh, remember, it. all proceeds of Tom's tips go to Jim and Garrett. If you'd like to submit a Tom's tips, get a hold of uh, Jim in the Twitch chat, or you can just send an email to pcloffers at gmail.com. Uh, don't send uh, business inquiries to that address, by the way, because uh, I, I, there's a lot of those lately. Uh, send one, send all those to perrycaravellolive at gmail.com. Uh, speaking of business inquiries, I should I should mention this to you. Uh, I got a very interesting email just before the stream started. It was from a, a toy company that was interested in, to see if you could open and review their toys on the stream. What toy company? Well, I'm not going to say because it's a potential sponsor, but uh, it was all like uh, kids' kitchen stuff, like like fake like mixing bowls and like kitchen stuff like for kids. No, I, I have a full kitchen filled with uh, specific 
Right. Uh, I'm not saying it's functional for kitchen use. I'm saying it's like children's stuff that they wanted you to re possibly review and open on the Again, stream. again, again, again. Time out with this. Okay. I've got right now an apartment ton with, loaded with trash. Right. I'm going to start throwing things away starting after today's stream because I'm, I'm that Right, Perry. So but again, 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 Perry. I'm throwing listen. things away starting today. Great. Okay. You're going to see empty emptiness starting today right I okay guess. starting with this shit can you compartmentalize and, and all this garbage can you, over can here you please compartmentalize can you please compartmentalize i'm talking about compartmentalize i'm telling you what i'm no, you're going not to do you're not listening you're not listening you're not listening you're just going on your usual dopey spiel about stuff that you never do and by the way half the stuff you have is is useless nonsense that you shouldn't be keeping anyway and i keep offering you to help you with that and, and then you're usually too lazy or oh you keep that. telling me that i gotta keep no, it to sell see, that's, it that's the lie it's all for sale that's the lie no i the only things i say is like the paintings or maybe one or two things that you keep everything and you misinterpret which is the problem anyway not what i was getting to the point is, it's the, this uh, sponsor, and I have to kind of contact them. Like, hey, uh, you do know this stream, right? It's you know not not a kid friendly stream necessarily, but I thought it might be interesting. It was just an offer I got. Anyway, um, here's the Tom's tips that I was getting to. Uh, this one is from our friend Modi, and it says, "Perry, my mercenaries took back the land that Kenny scammed you out of and sold to the." Ta Callahan Taliban. Perry, my mercenaries took back the land. I don't believe that. I don't you believe that. I don't believe that. And sold it to the Callahan Taliban. We I don't are, believe that. Okay. Keen, Perry, if you could please just not talk over me while I do this. It makes it so much harder. Uh, we are keen to discuss our payment, or we will turn it into a gay bathhouse resort until we can recoup the payment of $450,000. That credenza would look nice in general. You're Shepard's not office. getting any of my goddamn furniture out of my home. And I'm interested in giving one tiger painting to my wife in Scotland and the other to my girlfriend in Brazil. Also, please unblock my Instagram. They're never going to get unblocked on Instagram. One, two, nothing is out of my house. That is mine. Go fuck yourself. Hands off the mailbag. Hands off the mailbag. Defiant mailbag slam. Uh, here's an offer from Confection Witch. $20 for Perry to throw the empty packaging behind him when he's done opening something. So for today in the mailbag, if you want to open something, instead of throwing it in the trash, you just kind of toss it behind you. And then you get $20 for that from Confection Witch. And then you can obviously clean it after the stream. Are you listening to me? Yeah. So what's your, are you accepting that or are you going to stare? I don't, depending on what, whatever it is that I... Uh, well, if you listen, I, you would hear what it was. If you put that down... And yeah, stop. she wants me to throw something big behind me that, to no, break just, something. Just the me. packaging. Just kind of like open it and just like, whoop, and throw it behind you. I can do that with this. Okay, so that's offer accepted. Okay, we're going to go with that. All right, start off with this one. Then I want to get right into the wrestling thing before we get too uh, long in the tooth with this stream, okay? All right. Is this, how do we open this? Okay. Okay, okay. Another jerky boys. God, these guys are maniacs. Can they not sell their stuff? All they keep doing is mailing me their CDs. They want me to become a jerky boy or something? Oh my God. Hold on. 
ton of Jerky Boy 2 CDs. It's crazy. And there's no note in here, of course not. No note. Another Jerky Boy 2. How many, how many do you have at this point? Oh, well, let's see. I never opened up this, so I'll sit that there and that. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Wow. Yeah, five wow. Jerky Boy 2 CDs. Like, I need five Jerky Boy 2 CDs. All right. And six is the one that's in my rack. All right. So now, Perry, remember, everything you open now has got to be thrown behind you, right? You're throwing behind you. Okay, and you can clean it We'll see. No, not we'll see. Oh, you accepted the offer, so there's no we'll see. You're doing it. Oh. No, no, not mm, or anything else. When you open something, you're going to toss it behind you. That was what you were paid $20 for just now. So not we'll see or not mm, or not confused look. This is Jackie Martling's CD. This Jackie Martling goes in my... Uh, yes, this is the CD that you guys destroyed on me. No, no, not you guys. You didn't even so do that. Two Perry's, they say Jackie Martin. Thank you. Hey, can you sh before you dart up? Can you please show it? And then, then, then there he is. He signed it and oh, everything. It. Okay, thank you. What does it say? It says to Perry, they say Jackie hey, Martin. Perry. You got to toss the packaging. Do you not understand the point of that offer that you basically are now robbing this person of? I'm not robbing anybody. You are. When you take money for an offer and you don't complete the offer, that's robbery. So you got to take the packaging and throw it behind you. The packaging that that CD came in. Hang on. No, hang no, on. Not hang on. Not hang. Let me read a letter. No, no reading. I'm going to mute you. Put the letter down. Take the packaging and throw it over your shoulder right now. Thank you. Now you can read the letter. All righty. It says, from the desk of Jackie Martling, dear Mr. Caravello, C-A-R-A-V-A-L-L-O. No, that's supposed to be V-E-L-L-O. Please find included an autographed copy of my 1992 best-selling Platinum uh, album, uh, Hot Dogs and Donuts. This is to replace the copy that uh, you cooked in the microwave. If you want to cook this one, place it silver side up for no more than uh, 30 seconds. Thank you for, for coming on the Uncle Rico show. <clears throat> we would love to have That's you. That's it. That's it. Good enough. Thank you, Jackie Martling. That's it. That's it. Throw it away. Letter done. No more reading. Thank you. I can't, I can't even nope. read the PS? Nope. nope. Okay. That's enough. All right. Uh, let me see, show the letter to the screen. PSFU, I heard you call me a hack. Okay. There we go. Okay. Throw it away now. Please keep the letter short and pithy when you're sending in a letter. Uh, and by the way, Perry, you did not destroy that CD on PCL. You did that on the Uncle Rico show, okay? That was them. I had nothing to do with that. We had nothing to do with that, okay? And you were paid for it. All right, now listen, 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 listen. Before you, Perry, please put the mail down. Please put the mail down. I would like yeah. to do the wrestling thing now while we're in kind of prime time here because I don't want to get okay. away from it. So can you take the chair and move it into the dining room, please? Uh, I can't pick it. The chair's too heavy for me. Just move. How can that chair be that heavy? Just move it back far enough where it clears the space that you. That's good. That's good. Right there is good. Right there is good. Now, Perry, here's what you're going to need you're going to need vegetable oil and the giraffe and a cat and the dog, which the dog's over here. Dog. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Giraffe. Yeah, you have that big tall giraffe. Where? You've had it forever. The the stuffed animal giraffe. And the cat. You have some kind of cat there too. A giraffe. Yeah, the giraffe. You had. Giraffe in here? You had you had a giraffe for? Did you give it away? I haven't had a giraffe in the house for ages. 
All right, just find what other animals, stuffed animals you have in there, because I know you have a couple that Jerry Seinfeld sent. You got a stuffed cat, and it's on. I think it's by your yeah. bed. Did you give this? Did you give the giraffe away? Giraffe has been gone for a long time. Okay. All right. Giraffe's gone. All right. But whatever, what other, uh, ever other animals you have, I think you had at least two cats. You might have more than one stuffed cat. Yeah, this cat, and that's it. Somebody took that giraffe a long time ago. Who? Who'd you give it to? I don't remember to. I don't right, well, you're remember. not allowed to. Don't give the dog away, Perry. You're not allowed to give the dog away. That's ours. All right. All right. We'll do this with the cat and the dog. All right. Put that down. You got to take the uh, jersey off. You got to be shirtless for this. Okay. I'll remind Hat you. Hat off, too. Yeah. And the glasses off. Three. Oh, probably smart. So you got Glasses. Wrestle PCL pets. I guess these are the only surviving PCL pets. The other ones have passed away. Who's gone? Gone, gone, gone. Yeah, the, I believe I gave the draft to um uh my friend's grand uh, grandchild. Whose grandchild? Robin's grandchild, okay. I, I might be wrong. Check the, I'll tell you what. Some people in the chat are saying that it might be buried on the couch. Give the couch a cursory glance when you come back just to see if it's there. It's on the couch. Right, Perry. I just had is, you to take a cursory glance. What is, what is the cursory glance? Is a bunch of boxes, right? That you probably a costume, be and, and more and more more costumes. You won't allow me to throw away. No, Perry. The costumes can go in the closet, bro. That's like there is no fucking room in my closet. I have clothing in my closet. No room anymore in my closet. Yes, there is. You can put them on the shelf. They're Fuck just Fuck you. Hey, Perry. That's not necessary to talk I like that. Me. You gonna take a defiant pee? There is room in your closet. I've seen your closet. Perry, we gotta move this along. You know, Friday is supposed to be swift and fast moving. Okay, and you're already stalling it. Yeah, I know. Well, there's quicker ways to do things, and you were wearing a diaper last week. Oh All right. yeah, and I didn't pee in the diaper. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what's the point? And even anyway. during the diaper, I had to go pee, and I went pee. So. Yeah, I know. Diapers diaper don't work. Listen, can you just take a quick look by the couch, even like on the floor there, just to see if the draft somewhat, somewhat there? I just want to make sure. I am going to tell you again. All that's over there are boxes. Okay. Nothing is on right. the and, floor. And I guarantee you, Perry, you and I can go over that together just to make sure you don't throw anything. Nothing away. is over there but boxes. Okay. And when you get here, everything's No, no, not when I get there, Perry. We could do this over Skype like we did last time. Right now. No, I don't want no you to boxes. do this. Perry, I want you to come back here. There's been enough time away from the screen. We can Ball go box. through it. Perry, if you'd stop talking. Okay. Most I'm sure most of the boxes that you're keeping there are from like, you know, non important mailbags. The only mailbags I ever want oh, see Perry, pictures. Here's where you here's where you stop talking. I'm sure most of the stuff that you keep is nonsense that could be thrown away. Okay? Anyway. Let's get to the wrestling thing because I don't have a year and a day to explain every uh, bit of minutia to you. So you're gonna let's let's start with the uh, vegetable oil on your torso. That's the first part. What pour, pour vegetable oil here? On you, do you know where your torso is? My 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 my, my chest area. When you say torso, that means chest area, right? Is that what you think the torso is? I would assume. Well, you know, let's to be fair. Let's want right here. We, that's your chest. Where's the torso then? Belly. It's everything that's not your head, neck, arms, and legs. 
So it's not just right the here. chest, it's the stomach too. So as it goes... Okay. Everything that's not your head, arms, and legs. So bottom line, it's this area. And it's going to roll yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you want to run... See? Okay. You want, somebody over, you want somebody over there to help you with this? Cause... Oh, no one's allowed here! No one's allowed here! No one is fucking allowed here! I'm not pouring a ton of shit on my fucking body, you motherfucker! No one is allowed here! And I goddamn swear to God, if you bring Garrett or that fucking oh, wannabe Tony punk, he's not allowed here! We gotta rub it all over your torso, please. And you do need it on your back if you want to ask a neighbor for help. It ain't going on my back. All right, well, rub it, Perry. Rub it in. Rub it in instead of just it goes dripping in the all over. Only. Well, Perry, how on my back. how long are you gonna stand there like a dope and not actually rub it in and let it just drip everywhere? Cause you're making me do something that I don't want to do. No, I'm I'm asking you to do something that you committed to on Monday. Okay, and with the other free hand, Perry, here's some advice. With the other free hand, you should be rubbing it rather than just let it drop straight down. There you go. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I can't believe I'm the one that has to tell you that you're putting on too much. All right, and then if you want to dry your hands off, you can do that. You get towels on the floor there. Okay. No, no, no don't, no, no, don't dart away. No, no, no. Oh. Keep in mind, guys, he's a professional darter. I'm down to the end of this. Perry, let's go. This is why I hate doing this kind of stuff on a Friday because it really just messes the flow of the stream. But we couldn't help it because he was, uh, it was just way too late on Monday to even try to get him to do this. It would have been a disaster. And I asked him to set up early today. Like I really did. I said last night, I said, Perry, let's set up early for the wrestling thing. And look what he, look, look at the setup. Just those two little crappy towels on the floor. That's the only setup he did. Well, I don't have. Right. I just said, have everything you need close by so that we can get this done succinctly and not, you know, constantly darting. All right. So anyway, uh, co coat your torso in vegetable oil. You've done that. Now you got to wrestle any PCL pets, which are now just the dog and the cat. And there has to be some back and forth. Okay. So you can wrestle one at a time. I would start with the cat and close with the dog. Uh, and you got to use a finishing move. Now, what's your finishing move, Perry? What? What, like a leg, you want to do a leg I drop, a camel, a camel, cr a camel clutch? Yeah, but back up a little bit so the camera can see it. You could do a submission hold if you want. But, but there needs to be a back and forth, meaning the cat should attack you first. So act like the cat's attacking you first. <laughs> Take this, you stupid cat. If somebody's at my door. Who's at my door? I don't care. You're doing this now. Forget about the door. Okay. Okay. Start over now. Don't be distracted. Okay. The cat attacks you first. Oh, and you fight shit. Back. I just worry about who's at my door. That's all. And I just said ignore it. It's uh, obviously it? a delivery. Scout? It's obviously okay. a delivery, so just ignore it. I, it could be management too. I don't, I don't know. know. Well, I don't care about them either. We're, this is your job. So again, the cat is attacking you first, and then you counter. Get off of me! Oh. 
Right, and then you have to counter, remember. In what? Have you ever watched a wrestling match? Yeah. Oh, it's been a while. I don't wrestle, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, go for the pin. Go for the pin. One. You're down. Two. Three. Okay. One PCL pet down, one to go. Let's do the dog. Now the dog attacks you first. Ow, 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 hey. Get away from me. Get away. Shit. Lost my balance there. Lost my balance there when I fell back. Yeah. One, two, three. All right, I'm calling this for the silver streamer. All right, very good. Sure, Done. I don't have any more animals in there? No more animals in my home. And Seinfeld, you better not be sending me any more fucking animals again. All right, with the language. Jeez Damn Louise. Damn you. Tired of this crap. And no room in here, my home. All right, Perry. My home is getting stuck with more shit every goddamn day. Tired of it. Hey, Perry, you know what I'm tired of? You yelling. You're tired of me swearing, too, I know. No, I don't care about the swearing. It's just you yelling oh. constantly. All right, you go get the door, see what it was. Let's just get that over with. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I'm sure it is. What is this? I got enough. Watkins food coloring. I don't make don't, uh, cupcakes for food coloring. I don't do that crap. Can you show it? What is that? It's food coloring, you know, for like cupcakes and garbage food. All right. It's, hang it's, on. It's, hang out there. You never it's shit there. food. I, I, okay. Perry, I didn't send it. I don't know anything about it. Here's another Tom's Tips. This one is from the Albertsons Meat Man. Oh, what do you want, you fucking freak? He says, what? hello, my little love leprechaun. Top of the morning to you from your big cocked shamrock, the meat man. Remember that bar we all used to go to after work? I can't remember the name, but we'd stop to... by for a beer. I never went to any bar with you, ever. Me and the other guys ever. in the meat department all took turns raw dogging you on the pinball machine while you went woo-hoo. Good Another time. lie. Another stinking lie. I would go to work. I would go home. Never went out to some stupid bar in Laguna Beach. Okay. Here's an anybody. offer from our friend Soviet Goat. $10 to use the food coloring that you just received to turn everything you eat today green in honor of St. Patrick's Day. I'm not using anything. I'm not eating anymore. I'm done eating. No, I mean for the rest of the day, like like from now until you go to bed. No. Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. I don't do those stupid things. He's offering an additional 10 if you will dye the Trump doll's hair green as well. No, oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, here's a Tom's tip. This one is from Modi again. 
And he says, my best intelligent mm -hmm. officer, Captain Prince, just came back with intel that Gina Carano has been taken hostage by our sworn enemies, the Caliban, the Callahan Taliban. She is being forced what? to marry. She is being forced to marry a Saudi prince in the next 24 hours. My squad. What? Well, if you listen. Uh, Go on. I'll start again. My best intelligence officer, Captain Print, Captain Price, just came back with. In I'm sorry. I got to get my glasses. I'm trying to do this without glasses, and it's been it's been tough. Okay. My best intelligent offer, Captain Price, just came back with in intel that Gina Carano has been taken hostage by her, by our sworn enemies, the Callahan Taliban. She is being forced to marry a Saudi prince in the next 24 hours. My squad, Diamond Dicks, will mobilize and go to save her for free. But only if you scream, thank you, Modi, five times and unblock my Instagram, please. So you could do that. Thank you, Modi. Thank you, Modi. Thank you, Modi. Thank you, Modi. Is that four? Thank you, Modi. Five. I don't know how to do the the, the unblocking. And so that's fine. We'll figure out his Instagram. It, it, unblocking people from your Instagram is so annoying because you've unblocked you've blocked so many people. It's like this long, long scroll. But yeah, get us your name and we'll we'll figure that out. Okay. If uh, Gina doesn't come up here before I go to uh, Pottstown, uh, forget about it. She is. Uh, we're we're not going to be able to to be together. It's a nude listening to you talk about storms makes me want to pull my cock out, spray my jizz over you like a hurricane. Hurricane Dude. And Hurricane Nuge Splooge. Look, I used to love your music back in the 70s and up in the, the early 80s, but then uh, I don't know what happened to you. You turned into an evil, mean bastard, and, and then you started treating me like shit. So I really don't care anymore about, about uh, your music. I mean, uh, uh, Double Live Gonzo was great. Harry. Can I please use that cock warmer you have tied around your neck? Please send it to me to wrap my cock and keep it warm. Thank you, God bless. I never put a cock warmer around my neck. I'm pretty sure he was talking about the tie you were wearing on Wednesday because these are still from Wednesday and you were screaming um, over them so you didn't hear them. That's why I'm replaying oh, them. So. Excuse me. Uh, here is a crowdsource offer that you should consider, Perry. It's for $200. Okay. What now? Two hundred dollars to inflate the boat before Monday. No, no, I'm throwing that fucking thing away after the today's stream. No, it's done. Got it? Today's stream. All right. When when, when this today's stream is over, that boat goes in the trash, and a lot of this other shit goes in the trash. End of story. Over and out. Okay, so that's a no. Got it. Thank you. Boxes are going in the trash. Pictures are going Keep in the trash. Keep hitting up those traps. Those buttholes are tight, my dude. You rock glad you escaped the Jehovah's Witnesses, my man. It's hard to shake that off. Thank you. Hey, sweetie pie. You were not sexually assaulted. You wanted to be in movies and wanted SAG vouchers. You loved being gay with me. Let's do it again. Never. Never. Quote, all I did was jerk him off and let him suck my dick. That was it. I got news for you. That means you're gay. One time only? Forced for that matter? This is 2023. That happened in 1991 or two. I don't even remember what year it was. Well, I believe it was 92. Okay. Everybody says 92, 92, 92. I don't even remember when it even happened anymore. <sighs> One fucking time does not mean you're gay, motherfuckers.
because I pulled over and had a, and a girl pulled over behind me. I checked on her, see if she knew if she out where she was going, and, and I get fucking harassed for it. You looked dapper in your suit on Wednesday. Was that the same suit you were wearing in court when you lost your lawsuit? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But I have a half a dozen suits, okay? I have a collection of suits. I'm the mayor of Pottstown. Glad you're coming to perform in my fair city. There's a bit of a bear problem here. Just be careful. There's a bit. There's a bit. Okay, well. All right, I'll, I'll be careful. You don't have bears over there like we have out here in California, do you? Perry baby, I don't want a bum. If you get her own house, I'll be yours forever and you can fill me up with cream like a cannoli. Wink wink, kissing face. Prove it. So I'm going to say is prove it. If I see you and if you're there for me, prove it. All I'm going to say. I'm getting fed up with these fake accounts and these fake this, these fake that. I, I mean, it's making me look like I'm a freaking cuckoo. Cuckoo from the cuckoo's nest, and uh, I don't know what else to say. I, I I go to Instagram. I don't know who's real or who's fake. It's starting to really drive me to the to the funny farm, and I've been there once, and I don't want to ever go back. Perry. Why did you show Chrissy Mare and the girls the photo from your stage auto accident disability scam, but not as PCL fans? Hashtag scam master. Did I show the girls the uh, auto accident uh, cutlass? I don't remember. If I did, I, I mean, to prove what happened to me on December 6, 79. Yeah. Perry, please tell us what kind of weather you think is super scary. And what would you do when the super scary weather is happening? Uh, right now we're going through, through some super scary weather with, with all the snow and the rain and the, uh, the hurricanes and tornadoes and stuff. Even through the, uh, that, that, that section of Texas that always gets twisters. That goes from a section of just west of Houston, right up to the uh, borderline of the state of Texas, sometimes into that state above Texas, which I forget the name of at this moment in time. I'm not looking at a, a map, but uh, they call that, I forget, Tornado Alley. That area is constantly getting twisters, constantly, like all, all year, all all the time it's like if you want to see what a tornado looks like come to this part of uh the country and uh tornadoes are always here and actually if you want to also see those little um uh they're they're similar to tornadoes but they're not really tornadoes they're like weather beating twisters over over agriculture as you drive up to northern california off the i-5 or even off the 101, you'll see little twisters over over the uh, the agriculture that's being uh, planted off the side of the freeway. It looks beautiful, it's beautiful. You see little little uh, tiny tornadoes over over uh, all the greenery as they uh, plant the greenery. It's just gorgeous. Then I'm trying to teach you folks a lesson, and there I am in the in the weed. Pick me up, please. Thank you. Hey, buddy. 
Dave Grohl and I signed the paperwork and we'll be opening the brand new Parm Springs Italian restaurant on May 13th. See you there. I'm out in Palm Springs on May 13th. I'm in the East Coast on May 13th. Sorry, kids. About a new restaurant in Palm Springs? Well, congratulations. That, that, that desert is growing. That's all I can say. It's growing. And it's there's things out there that I would never imagine being out there. And uh, congratulations to you folks. Okay. Uh, would I, if I lived out there today, would I want to stay? No. No. I moved for a reason, and it was for head injury college. But I'm I'm gone also to stay away from being stuck in the desert, because that's exactly how I felt. I felt stuck until we traveled to Big O Skate Park or. Or uh, down the Newport Beach to visit the uh, beach and and hang out at the uh, the fun zone in uh, Balboa Peninsula and stuff. It those were the fun days when my mom used to drive me down to a big old skate park in Orange and I'd skate for a couple hours and then uh, we'd go to the fun zone in Newport in Balboa Peninsula. PCL fans, come by the grand opening of Palm Springs at Perry's Place on May 13th. First 200 customers get a free bowl of artichoke, your wife's dip. Palm Springs, what's this? Get your glasses back on. Sorry, guys. Place. Play. 1992 Perry swallowed Randy's glue. 1992 Perry choked his chicken, too. 1992 Randy made Perry scream ooh ooh 1992 was a great year for you know who. I never swallowed anybody's goo. Got it? I might have choked his chicken and that was it. He swallowed my goo. Got it? Thank you. Over and out. And forward. Hey Perry, I'm a first time listener. You gave me the strength to tell my dad I was gay. Thanks for all you so. What's 92? Can you explain? If I did that to get your get you out of trouble with your parents, then uh, congratulations. But uh, you know I'm a straight man, okay? And 92 is not to be talked about again. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend. I just don't know what 92 means and I can't seem to get clarification. The internet says you raped Randy in 92? True. I got raped. I, I got sexually assaulted by Randy in '92, uh, and and uh, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Justice has been served. Randy Callahan was just forced to pay Unicorn four million in settlements for sexually assaulting him in 1992. Well, he should pay me the same. Bastard. Okay. Perry is former President Jimmy Carter. I'm dying. Did you vote for me? Even if you didn't, it would make me feel better if I said you did. I'm dying. I'm very sorry about you dying, sir. Um, well, what do you want me to say to you? Well, if you weren't what is he at, if you weren't looking at your phone or whatever the heck you were doing, you would have heard it. I was listening and I knew he said he wanted you, me to I, say what something. What were you doing darting at your phone? Oh somebody some asshole sent me a stupid message just to So why why are you doing that while in the middle of live streaming? Why are you more focused on that than your stream? I'm not more focused on this. You thing. are because you didn't even comprehend what it said. Anyway, that was I'll I'll read I'll read it for you since you're clearly not paying attention. Uh, Thank you. It was from President Jimmy Carter, and it said, right. 
Perry, it's former president Jimmy Carter. I'm dying. Okay. Did you vote for me? Even if you didn't, it would make me feel better if you said that you did. I'm dying. I was too young. I was not a voter back in those days. I was a young kid in, I believe I was in junior high school at the time. So I was a, a young child. I was not a voter at the time. I'll so, read that last part again. Even if you didn't, it would make me feel better if you said that you did. I'm done. Okay. Okay. I was, I think, in seventh, eighth grade at the time. Okay. I voted for you. I'm, I'm sorry about you dying, but I voted for you. Okay, here's another Tom's tip. This one is from our friend Wangler, and it goes like this. Good news, Bear Bear. I'm coming out with a PCL aftershave. It will smell just like PCL. Oregano, Skittles, and a hint of filet of fish will embrace your lover's nostrils. I'm even going to grind your credenza up into dust and put extremely tiny pieces of credenza into the cologne. Scent of Fury will be available to all Piggly Weeklies in the state of Illinois, Wisconsin, Ohio, and Manitoba. I'll grab the credenza. I'll be at seven. You're seven, not allowed to come in my two. home. Actually, don't yeah, don't use don't use his. Not address. allowed to even come into my home. Wangler, you can't give his address. Don't give his address. I'll be sure to call you in advance too. Is your phone number still eight one eight? Well, how did Wangler get your phone number, Perry? Got your phone but he's again. got my present number today. Yeah, are you giving people your phone number again? I'm not giving my number out. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, that was from Wangler. Hey, hail Satan! Satan! No, do not hail Satan, you evil bastards. Hey Perry, I am on my way over there now to measure the credenza. I want to make sure it will fit in my truck. I will be picking it's it not, up on you're the not 13th touching my furniture. I have to cancel this trip to the East Coast because I don't trust anybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't trust anybody. I have no faith in anybody. I'm not leaving. Uh, you gave an agreement, Perry, and they've already. Uh, I may have gave an agreement, but but the way the way the well, stream no sounds, there's no bots. They already look. They made a flyer and then didn't put the date on it. You can't cancel out of that. It's got your name on it. Buy your tickets now, theshulynetwork.com to see Perry live amongst others. I'm coming out for the day and night, and then I'm flying home immediately. Uh, no, we got it to go to New York. Because you're going to be on uh, Anthony Cumia and uh, Chrissy's uh, show on that Monday. So, Jesus. again, uh, agreements have been made. Hands have been shook. I got to have bodyguards here. That's all. Perry, it's former President Jimmy Carter. I'm dying. Who is a better president? Trump or me? I would feel better if you said me. I'm dying. Well, I, I know the Trump family, so uh, I don't know who was a better president. I was a young kid when you were president. Um, uh, again, the Trumps are my family. Are the, the entire family of the Trumps, because of the girls, Ivanka was a good friend. Uh, and then uh, Tiffany and Eric and, and uh, Donald Jr. and stuff. Um, I'll, I'll say you were a good president. But aren't you that peanut farmer from Georgia? My name is Jimmy Cotta. I'm a peanut farmer. Yeah, yeah, that, that was you. Yeah, the, the, the peanut farmer from Georgia. Um, I, 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 I used to joke about you in junior high school. So uh, I, I don't know who was a better president. Uh, I love you both, okay? Let's say equal. Fuck you, Perry. You said on the weather stream that Texas would be wrecked by rain, so I sold my house before it got destroyed. But there was no damage.
the weather stream was two days ago. You sold your house in two days. Why? Why would you do something so idiotic? Anyway, dude, I'm just being cute and funny. Don't don't listen to the stuff that I say. It's all it's all part of the uh, want to want to be weatherman. Uh, it, it should be more more want to be weatherman stream rather than a professional weatherman, which I am not. I am not a professional weatherman. I am not Dallas Reigns. I'm not Jackie Johnson. I'm not Johnny Mountain. I'm none of those guys. Okay, I'm not Jillian Barbary. Okay, I'm none. I'm none of those guys who are and were professional weather. Uh, People on on uh, national TV or local TV. Jillian Barbary. Yeah, she did the weather for uh, Fox News for quite some time. Really? Yeah. You know who she is? Can you tell us more about the Yang Bang video you were in? How did you get the gig? How many guys were there? Was there catering? Don't ask. Uh, don't, don't ask. Because uh, there's nothing to say. I was way too stoned that day. So, uh, I mean, I, I went there with, with the girls and uh, we were all fucked up. All right. That's all I'm going to say. We were all fucked up. I got home alive that night. Happy Street Patties Day, my little leprechaun. Miss you every day. Miss my petty one in your mouth. Disgusting. Never come on my stream again, but you'll always be here. I am still waiting on my weather reports from Mars and the Sun. My colonization has been delayed, and I blame you, Perry. The pool party is still on. The pool isn't is, 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 been rebuilt yet, okay? So there is no pool party. At your house, maybe, but not at mine. There is no pool party here. One-on-one -on -one pool party? What, one person? That means you, yourself, and, that, and just yourself? Come over and, and me, and you just have a little one on one as like, like we're old friends, which we are not, but uh, no, that'll never happen. Perry, you seem to get noticeably dumber every stream. How much dumber do you think you can get and still be able to physically perform the stream? Physically dumber every stream. Uh, I, I don't know. You want stupid? Uh, then you got stupid. Perry, this is your president, Donald J. Trump. Love the bear stream. Listen, I implore you, inflate the boat. Do it for America. Do it for Trump. The boat, the boat is going in the garbage. I am not. I'm not dealing with that boat ever again. I will. When the stream over is over, the boat is thrown away. End of story. But thank you very much for this, Donald Trump. I have no choice but to tell you, you are fired. And the bear stream was just a dream. Okay. I'm uh, embarrassed to tell you, but you're fired. Uh, thank you again for that. It's Phil Appreciate Collins. It. Perry, you have inspired me to write some new music for the first time in 20 years. Thank you, my friend. Let's do a collaboration. Oh, dude. That's an, that's an awesome offer. I'd appreciate that. Like a little uh, vocal duet while you're playing either the piano or the drums. Dude, that would be an honor. I would be 
extremely honored to work with you in a in a in a song of any sort. Wow. Wow. Two thumbs up on that one, brother. Yeah, Phil Collins. It would be an honor. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, it's former President Barack Obama. Great stream today, brother. Gotta say, Per, I agree with the Donald. Blow up that boat. Hashtag inflow. Garbage. Boat. Look, it takes up way too much room in my home. The last time I, I, it drove me insane. Garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. No way. No way. Perry, it's my 48th birthday and my wish is for you to scream at me in fake voice baby mode. You love RC. Enjoy the Carl's breakfast I ordered you today. Thank you very much for the Carl's breakfast. It was very good. Uh, the uh, the hash browns got extremely cold, so I threw them away. But thank you very much. That was very nice of you. Thank you. You said you were 48. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear 48. Happy birthday to you. Thank you for the Carl's breakfast. Mr. Caravello, we are confirming your flight to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in May. Due to your excessive weight, we will need to charge you for two seats. Thanks. Oh, please. Try to be funny. Look, I'm not, I'm not like that. God. My excessive weight. I'm only 205. So just drop down from 210 to 205. It's Phil Collins. Have your people call my people. I'm thinking of calling the new album Wild Tiger. Can I see the tiger painting for inspiration? <sighs> I'm not showing photos of the... I'm not, I'm not showing that stuff anymore. Right there. The inspiration or no? Because I'm not taking the other ones down again. Scaremaster, it's former President George W. Bush. Big fan. Let's blow up that boat. Do it for America. No! If you don't, you stand with the Taliban. No! The boat goes in the trash! What's for my trash? Stand with the Taliban. Evil people. Scaremaster, it's former President George W. Bush. Big fan. Let's blow up that boat. Do it for America. I said if no. You, you stand with the Taliban. I said no. There is no room in my home to blow up that boat. Oh, yes, there is. No, there is not. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, how many hot dogs, no buns, could you fit in your mouth at once? I heard Riley Reid could do, do seven that, at that once, but I know you can do, do better than that. I will never do a hot dog eat off. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. I mean, yeah, I see that Coney Island thing go on every year uh, with that uh, with that one Asian guy that eats like a maniac. I could never do something like that, nor would I ever do anything like that. I don't have the stomach for it. No, 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 no. Perry is your president, Donald J. Trump. Looking forward to Pottstown. Let's inflate that boat for America. Hashtag no. inflated boat, hashtag inflated boat, speed boat, president men Trump. holding hands, speed boat, the, men holding hands. The boat hands. is not, is not, the boat was sent to me as a, as a sarcasm 
because of the last boat. This boat's going in the garbage, and I'm going to throw it away at the end of the stream. I'm not blowing it up. I can't. I can't. And, and all this trash is going in the trash. I'm. I'm tired of this. I'm seriously, seriously tired of this. Thank you for subscribing. Scaremaster, I'm honored to know you're a vivid dreamer since 1992. Waking up smiling in Randy Slumber is rare adult fun for your age. Congratulations. No. no. Get out of here with that disgusting remark. Perry, as a fellow gay Chicagoan, it would be my honor to invite you to Chicago this fall to help us grease the river for Columbus Day. Oh my God. Lori, yeah, I love and miss my hometown, but boy, you have fucked it up terribly, I'm sorry to say. Excuse me for using the F word again. I'm trying to break down on saying the F word. Uh... Why why are you why are you uh treating your your shaitan hustlers so terribly? Let's let's do things. It's Wavy G, big fan. The episode of the Bag Boy where you screamed and assaulted a customer at Halbertsons for not putting their card away was great. I don't remember that, but that's that might have happened years ago. When I was an employee, but that, that that that's possible that I might have done that, but I don't believe I ever did that. It's not their job; that was my job to, to get the carts, and the uh, the parking lot was not so freaking big that I couldn't get carts. Hey, baby girl, I hope you don't mind this wonderful transformation and going through. When it's finished, I can show you why they call me Tripod. What? What the heck are you talking about? You guys are messing me up big, and I, I, I don't like it. I seriously don't. I will be celebrating my conquest in your pool. If I have to colonize your complex. Hashtag we are allowed. Elon, there is no swimming pool right now. Understood? No pool right now. It's being rebuilt. End of story. Nothing more said. Perry. Sunday is my 37th birthday. Can I get an OOO? It will make Diaz getting hurt for the season a lot better. Love you and Shum. Well, oh, 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 oh! So your Sunday. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Birthday to you. Hey, Perry. Birthday for Sunday. Love the stream. You and Tom are the best. Please keep up the good work. Thank you for putting up with the knuckleheads. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Happy birthday to you. Ow. It's President Jimmy Carter. I'm dying. I just saw on the ex-president's group chat that you have an inflatable boat. Can you blow it up? I'm dying. Out of the question. Out of the effing question. It's trash. The more you guys say blow it up, then I'm going to just throw it out the freaking patio door. I'm done. I'm done. Hey, Perry. It's trash. Just, just real quick. Uh, he's an ex-president of the United States, and he is dying. Again, it's trash. Can, can you not, like, blow out my eardrum? I'm just saying he, the man's dying. Again, I am not blowing that fucking boat up. Well, here's It's going in the here's garbage. Some, here's something, Perry. Uh, it's actually related. Uh, there's a crowdsource here. If you could set up, Perry, and not act all traumatized, okay? Because this is 
money for you. Okay, this is a $300 crowdsource offer I'm going to mention now. Okay, if you have no respect for a uh, former president of the United States uh, honoring their dying wish. $300 doesn't mean I'm going to blow that boat up. There's no motherfucking room in my home for a goddamn boat again. Okay, all I'm saying is there was room last time, but let me get to the crowdsource. I don't care if there's $3,000. There's no fucking room in my home for a boat again. God damn it. As I was saying, Perry, please pull up a chair. Don't don't dart away, Perry. No, sit here. No, sit here, Perry. No, sit here. By a long fucking time ago, bitch. Did you get your temperature amp trim over with? Let me know when I can continue when your tantruming is over. Go ahead, continue. Okay. As I was saying, if you're not going to honor, honor the dying wish of a former president of the United States, here's something you can honor. It is a crowdsource. Now, I want you to listen to this before you start screaming over me. Okay? All you have to do, this is very simple, is between now and Monday, you have to inflate the boat for 300. But on Monday, there's nothing to say you got to keep it. You can get rid of it on Monday. Okay, all, all the offer is, I'm reading the fine print of the offer here. There's no asterisk or anything else. It says, this is all that was pitched. And this was Jim that hustled this money for you. Perry has until Monday to inflate the boat. So really, if you're smart, you can do this on, let's say, Sunday. Or Monday afternoon, you have until. No, if I'm smart, I will throw it away now, and when the stream is over, and I don't have to worry about the. the well, stupidity. that wouldn't be smart, Perry, because you'd lose the money. Now I know you're somebody who's very foolish uh, with money when it comes to things like buying tires that are too expensive. No, I'm not foolish with buying you are. tires. You are. To fix my Perry, problem. Perry, please. That's a topic for another day, but uh, you're foolish in that you're not listening to uh, the money here. It's $300, and all you have to do, you not do anything now, not now. All it is is you have until Monday to inflate the boat, meaning that on Monday stream, at the start of Monday stream, which is... Well, it will be in the trash, because at the end of this stream, the boat goes in the garbage. Okay, Perry, if you could just listen. I know, see, you're not in, like, listening And the mode. shit over here is going in Perry, the trash as well. compartmentalize, please. Please compartmentalize. You're being very uh, silly right now. Uh... All you have to do is buy the start of the stream on Monday, which starts at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. East. Uh, everybody else can do their own uh, conversions for what time it starts in your neck of the woods. You, it just has to be fully inflated. And, you know, and it really doesn't even say that you got to keep it for that stream. It just says you have until Monday to inflate the boat, meaning that it has to show inflated at some point on the stream on Monday. For $300, are you really going to throw away $300? I mean, considering all the st stupid moves so, you've made. inflate the boat outside, leave it outside, and then bring it inside for a minute and then throw it back outside. Doesn't say anything that you can't do that, honestly. It says... Well, that's what I'll I'm do. Going, I'm going by the exact wording of the crowdsource, okay? And we're not allowing any addendum to it, okay? Because this, unless uh, there's more money, but this is it. It's $300 to inflate the boat by Monday stream. It says until Monday, but I mean, I interpret that as by Monday stream because no one's going to see you until the stream starts on Monday. So all you got to do is sometime between now and then, you inflate the boat and I assume show it on the stream. It doesn't even say that, honestly. But I think it, you do have to show it on the stream just to prove that you did it. But that's the offer. Couldn't be simpler. And you'll make a dying former president happy. You'll make uh, former President Bush happy. You'll make former President Obama happy. And you'll make uh, your friend former President Trump happy. So basically, that's four presidents that you're making happy. Now, was that Bush Sr. or Jr.? I don't remember. Uh, I think Sr. So... For three hundred dollars, would you like to make four former presidents happy? Plus, make sure I met I met two of them. I met both senior and and, uh, and uh, junior at a golf tournament at the Dinosaur Golf Championship at Rancho Mirage years ago. Um, God, that was God Almighty! Right, I well, think I'm, that I'm gonna go offer acceptance on this. 
So Perry is not. All right. So can you can you please take the boat that you tossed away and put it back where it was, please? It'll it'll go back over no, there no, later. Do it, do it now. It'll make me feel better. Okay. And thank you for uh, listening to uh, Reason. And we always have a problem with the sun. By the way, are you ever going to cover the uh, the other panel, the window with that? Uh, with the, yeah. Um, the sunblock, whatever that is. This stuff. Yeah. I'll do that later too. Okay. Good. Extreme okay. Analysis. All right, you can sit down now, Perry. You can Thanks. sit down now, Perry. Do you have any big oh. boxes from Mailbag that you need to open? Uh, any boxes. big boxes that boxes. are in your way or anything like that? I got a huge box. See, that would be the smart thing to open. Which is empty than it just came yesterday. Oh. Okay. It came yesterday. I thought you would want me to wait. Why are you? Why are you... Okay. I don't, I don't. I don't understand. Just open that. Because it's so stupidly light, it's like they get a humongous box like this just to look ridiculous. You know, I think Amazon does that for some reason, for whatever reason. I don't think. And exactly another reason. one of these effing cats. Oh my god. Let's check the note. Ah, it's too bad you couldn't open that earlier. Let's check for a note. You might want to do the wrestling thing uh, over again and add this new cat. No way! No way! No way. Another Jerry Seinfeld. Look, Seinfeld. Cool it, man. Hey, Perry, the camera's this way. I don't know why you're darting to the side. Fucking fed up. The vet diagnoses this cat with, with the worst case of uh, monkeypox ever recorded. Please use your healing tongue. On its loose butthole, you are absolutely disgusting. Ugh. I need to drink water for that one. Legally yours from Jerry Seinfeld. Legally yours, huh? Well, well what's so legal about sending me a cat? Yeah, blithering moron. Can we at least see the cat, please? Oh! I, I know it's shocking that I want to see something you got in the mailbag on a mailbag Friday. Now, what wrestling move, move would you use on this one? I'm not using... I'm, we're not wrestling this cat! I didn't say you were. I said, what move would you use? I don't know. Probably the same as I did on the last one. Can you please show it? No! Because there's no wrestling anymore. I didn't say wrestle, Perry. I just said show the cat. What, choke it, damn thing? No, show it. We're seeing the back of it. Thank you. Okay. Grab one more mailbag and we'll move on. This goes... Over there... And shit is going in the trash. I'm I'm so fed up. A shirt. Is there a note? Is there a letter? No letter, no notes. And I will never wear one of these fucking shirts. I've seen enough of them and I'm done with them. Christ, I don't want this crap around my house ever a fuck again. Who the fuck are these motherfucking weirdos?
O'Callaghan Auto Parts. Big fucking deal. No, no more mail. Uh, just, Thank Perry, you. By the way, by the way, Perry, I, I love that you just completely forgot that you're supposed to toss the stuff behind you when you open the mail. Okay. I did. It went behind me, but it fell. No, over. you tossed the cat. No, sit down. Sit down. No, I mean the packaging when you open it. Okay. Somebody paid you earlier twenty dollars to do that, and what what I always hate about accepting those offers, whatever it is. Perry must do this for the rest of the stream. Perry must, uh, you know, jump up and down, and he goes to pee. The guy that has to uh, constantly remind you is me, and I'm not the one who gets paid for it, so it's annoying to me. But I'm more concerned about the person that sent you the twenty dollars. So going forward, okay. any uh, packaging that gets open gets tossed over your shoulder. Okay. All right. Now here, well, a couple of things. I'm opening catch up, on. up packages, right? What? Well, for now, because we're, we're. I don't. Do you understand the pacing of the stream? Like, mm. if you just went back to back, like all you did is sat in front of the camera opening mail, how it'd be very boring. So we try to like do it in spurts. Oh, we, no, we've got all this. Yes, I know, Perry. But that's Almost not done. I'm, I'm not talking about the mail itself. I'm talking about if you were just cutting open mail and reading notes and you, all you would do is just look at the mail and you know put it aside and barely engage. So obviously we break it up into little spurts. Okay, let me move on. Here is a, an, another offer that you should take, Perry, because you already accepted the other one. Uh, this is from Mark Lang is offering you $100 to keep the inflated boat on Monday stream for two hours. So you already shown it on Monday anyway. All he's asking is that it's got to be on the stream for two hours before you do anything to it. Okay. I think you can accept that. Agreed. Two hours, then it gets popped and it goes to hell. All right. That's the deal. Two hours. The, the boat will be at least seen for two hours. Okay. Uh, here is an offer from our friend Fat Chatty Daddy. $20 to stand on your chair and pretend like you're swatting down planes like King Kong on the Empire State I am Day. not standing on this chair. That is dangerous as hell. And uh, I am not seeking to fucking get hurt. Okay? I, I am not I'm not doing that. Not doing that. I actually agree with that one. I think that's... Uh... Not doing that. Yeah, I think that's fair. That, that that would get that could get me hurt. I could slip, fall, and bust a lot of things. I agree. I agree. We're, moving on. We're, no moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. No freaking way. Okay, Perry. Whenever you're done, redundantly well, done. explaining what you've already explained, uh, I yeah. understand. Okay. Here's one last offer. Francis Projects offering fifteen dollars, and all you got to do is just write something uh, in Sharpie on your bicep. Uh, you know, you know what your bicep is. Yeah. yeah, right there, the lower arm. So the, on that arm there, point to your. Let's. Can you point to your bicep? Show the, tattoo, show the tattoo. Show the tattoo. Very good. Point to the point to the tattoo. Yeah. All you have to do is write things I am not on your bicep with an arrow pointing to the tattoo, and you get fifteen bucks. That's an easy one. Things I am not. No, because it's a fucking lie. Well, it can be a lie, Perry, but you're getting paid fifteen dollars just to write it, and then you can rub it off later. Losers. Things I am not. As legibly as you possibly could. They would go away. Things I am not. A little arrow pointing the skateboarder, snowboarder, actor, comedian. And uh, in a week, I'm going to be up in the snow. That's a promise, I hope, depending on the fucking snow snow we've been getting. It, it, it just keeps snowing. It's snowing and snowing and snowing. California just got out of the uh, drought, which is an honor to hear. We've been in drought for 50-plus uh, years.
All right, let me see the arm, please. If you can just get it into frame, like move it up real close. The text and the yeah, there you go. Things I am not, and then just t just tilt it, just tilt your arm a little God bit. So damn it, Perry. Can you just I accidentally hit the? Yeah, I know, I know, Perry. Can you just stop, stop? Uh, damn it! Can you? All, all I'm asking you to do is just tilt slightly. Did you just? And now it just went up to the corner of the screen. Yeah, yeah. So here's what happens. Perry doesn't know anything about how to do anything computer related. Even if he needed to get on a stream by himself, he couldn't. So now I have to log into his computer, which is going to be an echo effect. So lower your speakers, everybody. And now I got to fix whatever dingling did. That's all. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt for me though, Perry. So now, without touching anything, can you please just show the tattoo with the writing? Tattoo. No, with, with the writing. With the writing. I'll see if we can There's get the tattoo same shot. and now writing. Alright, that's the best. Yeah. Alright, whatever. That's that's as good as we'll get. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. Moving right along, here's a Tom's tip from our friend Gulliver, and he says, Hi Perry, my name is Gulliver. Like you, I have unfortunately landed in a situation where to climb the corporate ladder, my disgusting boss demands I make hand love to him once a week. I am not gay and I hate doing it. I was hoping as an expert in performing hand love on men, you can please give me some pointers on how to finish him off as fast Why as possible. Why would you say expert? Why would you say expert? I only did it one time to somebody I did not want to ever had ever go through the, that ever can you please but, give me some pointers on how to finish him off as fast as possible how long did it take you to make randy explode? i don't know how long it took me you do you masturbate that's how long it takes okay that's how long it takes i don't i don't count the time when i jack off Pointers. Don't do it again. There's there's one pointer number one. Uh, I I have nothing to say about it, and I don't want to ever talk about it. And all you guys fucking keep trying to do, and I'm using and I keep saying the f word, and I'm going to stop saying the the, the f u c k word. I'm trying to clean my language up because I'm too too uh, I swear too much, and I don't want to swear as much as I do. What do you say? Uh, I'm getting confused. I get. Um, what are you confused by? I'm done. I'm done. Subscribe. Fuck everything. Fuck up. We're done. Over and out. That's not how you do it. Thank you for subscribing, people. Thank you. When's the next weather stream? And will you actually be prepared okay. this time? I said once a month. Maybe the middle of next month. Maybe. Did it on the 15th, and it might be on the 15th of... Uh... We will not be sending you any payments. Unfortunately, you now owe a dollar for showing the Perry the Tiger before release of the cartoon. You're fucked. What the fuck? Yeah, you fucked me with Phoenix and Ferb. Yeah. Using my name in Phoenix and Ferb. Oh, God. I'm fucked. Of course I'm fucked. Constantly fucked. Nobody ever wants to send me a contract. Tom, why are we, why are we losing money all the time? That's why. <clears throat> Uh. Perry is former President Bill Clinton. Saw you on the Simcast show. I love those girls. I want you to blow that boat like Monica and Randy. Get it? You'll see it on Monday for two hours and then it's gone. Got it? Okay. Thank 
you for subscribing. You're all invited to the yard sale at Perry's apartment tomorrow. There is no yard place. sale at my... Grocery diploma and a tiger painting. Hashtag we are allowed. Who the fuck are you? There's no sale at my apartment tomorrow. Or any day. You were subscribing. <sighs> you were subscribing. Today's Friday, correct? Hello, Tom? Yeah, why? Today, Friday? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Perry, what would you rather? Only eat filet of fish for the rest of your life, or every day Hell a dog hit you no. over the head with a skateboard? No, no, no. I skateboard for the rest of my life. Filet of fish can die. I hate that garbage. Filet of fish is, is fried garbage. I skateboard for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's not what she asked, Perry, since you screamed over it like a child. And uh, like I constantly tell you, don't talk over the comments. But since you did, you didn't comprehend it, of course. Read it to me then, please. Well, I will, but this is taking more time that we don't have. So if you didn't, when you see those... Blah, blah, blah. No, hey, Perry, instead of the blah, blah, blahing, how about this? When you see the comments pop up, Hold your commentary until they're finished because it's not only confusing for the people viewing, you're not going to comprehend what they're saying, okay? Uh, as I've said to you like a million times now. Anyway, Georgia says, Perry, what would you rather? Only eat a filet of fish for the rest of your life or every day have a dog hit you on the head with a skateboard? Neither. Right, but if you had to pick one, Perry. There, there, there isn't one to pick because well, there, let's say the choice is between the two, okay, or or the whole world ends. So you got to pick one. Then, then I die with the rest of the world. So you'd kill because I don't want to kill everybody fish, on the I planet wanna... not to choose that. Right, I'm saying what? what's the lesser of two evils? All you got to do is answer that. What's the lesser of two e evils? I, I, I can't stand fillet of fish, and I don't want to eat any of them ever again. One, right. and uh. When, when you're being attacked by a dog, well, what else are you gonna do? Well, you're, you're not being attacked, your... but you're, you're not being attacked by a dog in this scenario. All that's happening is the dog. Then is... I'm not smacking the dog in the in the face well, with that's, the skateboard. Well, you're not paying it. Once again, you're not paying attention because you don't understand the concept. Uh, if if I'm if I'm forced to eat a fillet of fish for the rest of my life, that's forced. So uh, no, I don't want to eat a fillet of fish. Well, you know, no. So you're not paying for it. So you're missing life. it again. Number two. Number two. Number freaking two. Uh, again, if I'm being attacked by a dog, and again, you're not, you're not the getting. The dog it. is running at me, ready to freaking attack. It's nothing me. to do with that. Nothing to do with that. She didn't say anything about you being attacked by a dog. Again, that there is no need for me to hit a skateboard with hit a dog with a That's skateboard. That's not part of it either. You're not. When are you going to be quiet so you can listen and comprehend? Hopefully, is this the part where you be quiet? So 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 stupid. She said. You either have to eat filet of fish the rest of your life, at least one a day, or have a dog hit you on the head with a skateboard. Now, keep in mind, I don't know how a dog's grip is going to be. I don't know how the force is going to be. I don't even know what kind of dog it will be. But you have to pick one of those. And again, keep in mind, everybody at home, Perry's very bad with hypotheticals. He doesn't really understand them. But if you, what is the lesser of two evil? What would you like? What, what would you hate the most? First off. If you're not Scooby-Doo, you're not going to be able to pick up a skateboard and smack anybody over the head. <laughs> so is that what you're choosing? Are you choosing the dog with the skateboard? Scooby-Doo ain't going to be coming over without, here. Without the, without the, the I know that's hysterical, but without the jokes, is that what you're choosing? 
Well, Scooby Doo is not. This swinging. has nothing to do with Scooby Doo. It just said the dog. Perry, once again, you have a choice between eating filet of fish for the rest of your life. I'm not eating filet of fish. Or no. having a dog. If hit a you dog, with a if a dog could swing a skateboard, I would allow a dog to okay. swing a skateboard. So it took it took uh, an ungodly amount of time to finally get to that. Okay. Now speaking of Georgia, she also has an offer here. She's offering twenty dollars for Perry to admit he was the one that split the bag of fake snow and not Tony Hawk. No, I did not split that bag of snow. Well, Perry, uh, all you got to do is fake admit it and you get 20 bucks. So all you got to do is I'm the one who, you got to say, I'm the one who split the bag of fake snow and you get 20 bucks. That's the way to look at this. Oh, so I just got to say I'm the one that did, I'm the one that made my apartment look like a freaking mess. Sure, for 20 however bucks. you want to say it, however way you want to do it. All right, I'm the one that split the bag for twenty bucks. No, it's not. I'm the one who split the bag for twenty bucks. You have to say I'm the one who split the bag of fake snow, not Tony Hawk. I'm the one that split the bag for fake. Uh, fuck, I can't even talk. I'm the one that split the bag of fake snow, not Tony Hawk. And he's not even Tony Hawk. Can you do that while actually looking at the screen and not looking down and being distracted? I'm the one that split the bag, not that fake Tony Hawk, okay? Okay, let's try one more time. I'm not the one who split the bag of fake snow, not Tony Hawk. I just want to get it right because that's how the offer is stated. I'm not the one that split the bag of that no. fake snow no. with Tony Hawk. No, I'm, I know it's funny, Perry, but again... That's exactly how you hey, just Perry, said hey, Perry, it. Perry, I'm not when the one... you complain about why we go on long, it's because you can't get things because right Because of the way we talk to each other. No, because it's because, because you can't, other. because you don't comprehend. You almost had it. I just want you to do it while paying attention. I'm the one that split the bag, without not Tony Without the air Hawk. quotes. Without the air quotes. I'm the one that split the bag, not Tony Hawk. The bag of fake snow. I'm the one that split the bag of fake snow, not Tony Hawk. Perfect. Thank you. Liar! Hey, no, don't add to it, Perry. It's already done. I said that. In 92 after you limped out of Randy's office with spunk on your face, did you still try to get Heidi's phone number? Stop bringing up what happened to me over 30 years ago stop it stop it stop it stop it stop it i don't want to remember it i don't want to remember it stop it just stop it okay just stop it please all of you stop it I'm glad they cast an authentic Italian like Chris Pratt to play Mario instead of a fake Italian like you, Perry. Go back to Milwaukee, you Greek freak. Go back to Milwaukee? Well, pfft. God, I... Yeah, we've, I haven't been to Milwaukee for some time, but... Uh... Thanks. All right. Thank you. What's in here? Perry, you won't place a skittle in your mouth, but you will place Randy's penis in your mouth. Also, Hell saw no! him in the dating game rapist Hell guy's no! dog killer. Hell no! No Randy in my mouth? Never. No skittles in my mouth? Never again. I gotta go pee again. Sorry, folks. Oh, sorry, guys, about being somebody that uh, has to do a bodily function. When you have to pee, you got to pee, okay? When you came down Randy's gullet, 
Did you tip your fedora and say L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L When did you start wearing the hat? Um, I originally started back in the 70s, and then I stopped. Then I went back to it uh, after after trying to figure out a uh, a good comedic look. When I got back in the comedy, I'm thinking, let me start wearing the hat. Uh, it was after I met uh, the comedy store crew. Um, I'm thinking 90, in the middle of 92, or in the end of 92, more or less. It's former President Jimmy Carter. Did you know I'm dying? It would make my last days more comfortable knowing that boat was inflated. I'm dying, speedboat. You got two hours on Monday, other than that, okay. Monday for two hours, and then the boat gets destroyed again. I hope you're going to stay alive uh, up and to and through Monday. Got it? I'll blow it up, and then I'm going to cut it up. What color was Randy's jizz? Was this yellow and chunky? Did it remind you of your childhood? I'm not answering this because of how disgusting that question was. Not answering that because of how disgusting you are. Demoralizing, sick, evil. Stop reminding me of something I want to forget. Who has the creamiest jizz in all the land? Did you save some of Randy's cream to cook a rigatoni, you filthy dago? I'm not answering that either, you sick bastard. All you are is disgusting. Fucking evil son of a bitch. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, next time you do a weather stream, can you please put on screen the suicide hotline number? I wanted to kill myself watching it. Hashtag God bless. I don't have a suicide hotline number. $20 to fix the damage you did to that sweet lady's door. What? What lady's door? I've been in my home. I haven't left my home. I haven't messed up anybody uh, else's door. A few weeks before. back, Perry, when you were in a shopping center and you uh, rudely slammed your car door into another woman's car. Oh, 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 and you, oh, And you admitted oh. that you would have taken off, uh, except that the woman was actually in the car at the time. Oh. Why are we talking about uh, an auto matter uh, because the comment said they would offer you twenty dollars to fix that sweet lady's door who you damaged my insurance is covering that you know, i have probably, auto insurance you probably should have paid that out of pocket because now your insurance is going to go up well i don't have the cash okay you, well you didn't have the cash at the time because of your tires but you do have the cash well yeah, I had I had to get tires replaced on my car because of uh, them being old. Look, look, look! I drive around a lot. Okay, I deserve good tires on my car. So uh, I, I went to Firestone. And I had good had them replaced. Same tires that I had on before, but you know it's. Wait, wait. <laughs> Anyway, I haven't. Uh, we're, we're not going to get into the tire thing again. I'm just saying. I haven't done two tires at a time in a long Perry, time. Perry, so Perry, I, oh, I really, I really don't got time to get. I don't have time to get stuck in the weeds on tires. I'm just saying, 
we should have worked something out with that rather than going through insurance. That was the foolish way to go. Okay. Attention stream don't send McDonald's. Perry won't accept it. Only things Perry will accept are firewood, eggs, blowjobs from men and use condoms. Hashtag F you. Block that person right the fuck now. I mean, again, block block them. I don't wanna, I don't ever want to hear a disgusting, demoralizing, despicable, evil, gross remark like that ever on my stream ever again. Sick son of a bitch. Block that person right now. Because the next time I see a name like that on my stream, I'm going to grab my mouse and close the stream. And screw up the rest of my show. All because of you assholes. Uh, by the way, uh, I guess we got raided on Twitch by uh, Briz94. Shout outs. Thank you. Uh, you, got, you got some strangers that uh, have joined your stream. A good streamers. rating or a bad rating? Well, they're, they're, I'm assuming that most of them are going to leave in a minute. Uh, well, in less than a minute, the more they watch your uh, attitude. But maybe you can talk right now. You got a lot of strangers watching that tune in for the first time. Pitch yourself. Ask them why they should stay. No, leave, put the keyboard back. Put the keyboard back. Real quick, Perry, because they're dropping like flies. Tell them why they should stay and why they should watch you. Well, we've been rated one of the leading streams on uh, Twitch since uh, we began. And uh, uh, Patreons were, I guess, the number one or the top ten uh, stream on Patreon. Yeah, this is Patreon, Patreon has Perry. Thousands. The, the, the Patreon's good, but you're pitching Perry Curvel alive now, the, the actual mainstream. The stream that you're watching yeah, right okay. now. Yeah, okay. Pitch yourself. Hurry up. Keep them from leaving. They're leaving in droves. Keep them from leaving. I don't know what to say other than the fact that uh, we have well, a Well, here's stream. what you say. Talk about why PCL is great. Talk about why they should follow your channel on uh, Twitch before leaving. Excuse me. Follow my channel because of uh, what, what we do on the stream. We when And the topics we talk about we talk about uh, the, the stars that we're going to have on the show. I've got, um, my God, I've got the entire uh, East Coast crew, the uh, um, the Anthony Cumia show, and, and uh, hold on here. Hold on. No, no desk the, stuff. No, de no, 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 just off the top of your head, just come on. You've lost so many already. Because I got to stop, okay? You got to stop what? Pitching yourself and promoting your own stream? That's what you got to stop? You can't even do that? I don't, because yeah. I don't feel good. Right, I'm not feeling good. Okay, so guys. Uh, uh, stop no pitching need, myself. No, not stop pitching myself. There's no need to stay, guys. They, they've all, just leave. Just leave. Because Perry's not going to, he can't explain by himself why his stream is good. He's terrible at Mark. He's just got to stop. As you heard, he's just got to stop promoting himself. He doesn't want new viewers. Uh, if you've come by from another stream, uh, just wander come off. Come on don't by. Even, don't even bother subscribing or following the channel in any way. Look. Is that basically all, what you wanted to convey, Perry? No, that's not what I want to say. I would, I would like to see all of us here. No, not us. Uh, I'm talking, uh, again, you're just. I don't do this by myself. I do this with a group of people. Well, geez, okay. Louise, that but is evidence. You, you see. Is only me, all right, until my guests are here, until Gina's here, until Scarlett's here. Hey, Perry, here. again, you're not talking to regulars. You're talking to strangers who have stumbled in. Most of them have left, but for the few remaining, can you please pitch yourself why they should stay, why they should follow Perry Curville Alive on Twitch? You should follow Perry Curville Alive on Twitch because we have we talk about uh, uplifting things. It's not the stream about. at all. That's not the stream at all. Why but, are you fucking arguing and fighting with me? You've lost almost a thousand. Let me just tell you something. You've lost almost a thousand people that were here a few minutes ago. Like I'm not, and that's I'm not making that up. They've dropped off. No, no, don't dart around. You can't see anything. Don't dart around. I don't have any numbers for you to see. I'm just saying 
we got raided by a bunch of people, most of whom have left now. There are a few stragglers who probably uh, have a computer problem where they can't shut it off quick enough for something happened where they had to go pee or something like that and they're going to come back and turn it off. For those few remaining, now keep in mind you've lost nearly a thousand people by your complete inability to market yourself or sell yourself or promote yourself. I'm going to tell you again, you have strangers that have stumbled into your stream. They've never seen you before. They don't know what PCL is. They don't know anything about you. For 30 seconds, can you pitch why Perry Caravel Alive is cool and why they should stay and possibly follow your channel? Starting right now. Perry Caravel Alive. I am on the stream. I am a, 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 uh, <clears throat> I was a stand up comic. Turned into an actor. I did a movie called Windy City. Nobody Heat. cares what you did. I'm talking about right now. What is Perry Caravel Alive? Why should they stay? They're mostly gone now, Perry. There's maybe a dozen left. Before they leave, can you tell them why they should uh, follow Perry Caravel Alive on Twitch? To hear about the reports that we're going to be uh, heading to the East Coast for uh, the Anthony Cumia show. That's nothing to do with Perry Caravel Alive. Why your stream? Why should they watch your stream? Why should they tune into Perry Caravel Alive the twice a week? You do? I'm I'm confused. Why should they watch Perry Caravel Alive? I'm confused because that's all I keep getting is confusion right now. What are you confused about? marketing yourself for, for once in your life for telling people why they should watch Perry Caravel I'm, 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 How are I'm, you confused? I've just gone stupid. I've just gone completely stupid. Forgive me for even saying that. I've just gone totally stupid. I, I don't even know why how blah blah. I don't even know how or why they should be watching Perry Caravel alive. Okay. Well, they they left. They left anyway. You you lost all those viewers that you could have had as as followers. They they've they've pretty much all gone. Good job, Perry. Once again, you did a great job on. Uh, well, yeah. Thanks for not helping me on uh, why I should be. Well, they're uh, not watching me. They're watching you. You're the guy. What are you? I'm doing? the guy. You know, turn. What? Why are you doing that right now? What made you pick that up? Why are you doing that right now? Because I just want because things are aggravating me. Things and everything. You know what's aggravating me? The fact that you can't even pitch yourself. Promote for 30, myself for thirty. Yeah, seconds. I can't even promote myself. You should watch me because I'm the I'm the uh, one that everybody wants to see. I'm the one that everybody wants to put in their movies. I'm the one that everybody wants to add to their programs. That's why they should watch me. But I look like a freaking disgusting, gross slob. Shirtless, bare-bodied, blech. Wow. And then you add the stupid uh, uh, vegetable oil on my skin. That was, at least, that was gross. at least better. That was at least better than uh, before. Anyway, it's too late because they left. But uh... <clears throat> nice try, anyway. Can you? That might they should watch. As a way to apologize. Perry has graciously agreed to put his tiger paintings up for auction. If you are interested, please press 1 to Never! Bid. Never! 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 Get off my stream right now, because I'm shutting the computer off. You got it? Never! Nothing is up for sale, except for these goddamn... This is up for sale. You see this? This is up for sale. I fucking break the motherfucker. You son of a fucking bitch. God damn it! All that shit is up for sale! Not my mother's stuff! Motherfuckers! Auction update. Danka Mighty has a top bid for the tiger paintings with $20. Press 5 to follow this auction. Hurry. I'm gonna turn the computer off if I see that shit again. Put the keyboard back, please. Shut the fuck up. Put that back, Perry, right now. Perry, why don't you say capis anymore like when you did with your friend Don and best friend Mole, back when you were a success not slumming like now? When I was a success? 
When I was a success, I'm a success now. When I was with those scumbags, I was struggling and screaming and crying for what? A $20 bill here or there whenever I saw them, which was maybe once a week. Those cheap fucking losers. Now I'm a success. Back when I had to deal with that garbage, it was garbage and it was disgusting. It was struggle, struggle, struggle. Now I'm a success. Hey, Perry, if Bob Levy asks for hand, job, will you give him one? Just one time. Shut up. Ugh. I'm not going back east. No, not happening. Uh-oh. Danka Mighty has been overtaken by Jim PCL with a $25 bid. If you want to remain top bid, please enter 1992 now. Hurry. Uh, F? Perry, I heard the 92 story a few days ago. I can't believe your first date with so, Randy ended with you sucking his dick like a puppy. I'm telling you. I never you, sucked Andy. anybody, any, any, I never sucked a man's dick. I never sucked a man's dick, so shove it up your ass, you idiots. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Ugh. My neck is on fire. Uh. Perry, this is Instagram. You have activated five-step verification process. First question, what was your first concert? And did you kiss any men slash women? My first concert it was in 1979, the Chuck Mangione Live at the Hollywood Bowl. That was my first concert here in Southern California. Uh, it was a recorded album for, you know, on, on record and, and uh, tape and stuff. But that was my very first concert, the Chuck Mangione concert with the 70 piece uh, live orchestra. Update Danka Mighty has taken back the top bid with $30. Press 5 to follow the auction to ensure your top bid. Hurry. What the hell? There's nothing in my house being sold that is not mine. My my late mother's pictures are not for sale. PCL fans, come by the grand opening of Palm Springs at Perry's Place on May 13th. First 200 customers get a free bowl of artichoke your wife's dip. You're not allowed in my home. Oh, my God. This is going to be a... I, I can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere. Closed. The winner of the Tiger Paintings is Soviet Goat with a sneaky bid of $50. Please submit your payment by entering gingerly in chat. Better not break into my apartment. Better not come over here and try to... Steal stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now I'm worried sick. Uh. Perry, this is Instagram. Five-step security verification. Question two. Who is listed as power of attorney on your account? Hint, a Brant. Answer now. She is not allowed... On any account. She's not allowed on any account. Oh, attorney on my accounts. Thank you for confirming Soviet GOAT. Our professional movers will come to Perry's apartment what? shortly to pick up the paintings to send your way. Get the fuck out of here, loser! God, I'm fucking mighty. Not allowed. 
Birdmaster. Was that the same suit you wore to your friend's dad's wake when you rubbed your boner against the coffin and bounced corpse balls on your chin? Men holding hands, coffin. Bye. Men holding hands, coffin. Goodbye. 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 All right, Perry, can we get another mailbag in to qualify this as a mailbag stream? Uh, get the biggest thing on that lounge chair. Biggest thing over here. Uh, these are all envelopes now. This is one big thing. Uh. Oh. Maybe I can... Stuffed animal. I don't want stuffed animals in my home anymore. This is ridiculous. I'm done with this crap in my home. God damn it. Hey, Perry, so you're just okay want... with robbing somebody of $20? I don't right? want hey, any Perry, more. Hey, Perry, any... stop, stop. You're okay with robbing somebody of twenty dollars that paid you to throw the stuff over your shoulder. You're okay with that. You're, you're you were paid to throw the packaging over your shoulder. And once again, I have to be the owner of my Thank you. Did this come with a note? No. Okay. Well, I I, I wish we would have maybe. No, there was the, no note. And I looked for a note in the uh, in the uh, uh, box. No, there was no, no note in the package. I wish we would have saved the wrestling now because you know you got two more animals. Okay, thank you. I don't want these animals. They're garbage. To me. Let's get one more mailbag. Uh, stupid magazine. Wait, do you want to do? Okay, this is the last one. So you want to do the magazine, or you want to get an actual package that's in your way? That looks yep. pretty stupid to open the magazine. This is okay. Let's, oh, let's this this is probably Skittles. This is probably Skittles. It's going right in the right in the hoosier, eating trash. No, surprise, surprise! It's not Skittles. What is it? It's M and M's. What about the note? There is no note. Hang on. There's M and M's. And just as a thank you, and that's that. All right. And there was no no little note in there. The two of them. Throw the Jeez. packaging hey. over your shoulder. Throw the oh. packaging over your shoulder. Okay, offic I, I'm officially canceling all future offers that require Perry to do anything like that for the rest of the stream because it's just too irritating. So you like M&Ms, right? Yeah, I love my M&Ms. Milk chocolate, not the poison called Skittles. Okay. I prefer milk chocolate with uh, peanut butter. Perry, this is Instagram. Five step security verification. Question three How many times have you had sexual encounters with men? Answer now. One. And it was sexual assault, not a sexual encounter. It was an assault. I didn't want that to happen, okay? I didn't ask it to happen. I didn't want it to happen. You old piece of shit. On Wednesday, someone said it was great not hearing Tom's voice and you didn't even stand up for him. You suck ass hashtag tips for Tom underscore B. I always stand up for Tom. What are you talking about? Oh, it's just, it's just it's a rude, rude, rude disgust. I, I'm tired of it. Tired of it. Perry, this is Instagram. 
5-step verification. Question 4. What is Tom Brennan's middle name? Since you are his best friend, you will know this. Answer. I don't know it. I never knew it. So I'm not his best friend. I'm his business partner. I only know what time. Perry, this is Instagram. Five step verification. Question five. What year did you sexually assault Randy Callahan? 1991? 1992? Or 1993? Answer now. I never sexually assaulted Randy Callahan. It's the other way around, and it was in 92. Stop asking. Stop going down that road, please. We raided the Callahan Taliban and got Gina out. Also, we saved Dan Dizak to drive truck won't start. What? Yeah, that was probably look stupid. Something about saving Dan Dizak. Perry, this is Instagram. You failed your five-step verification. Account locked. Ow. Your retrieval email has been sent to hot him you live around at. What now? How did I fail all the correct answers? Liars. And why is it that we don't have the fucking cops? Excuse me. Why is it that we don't have the cops arresting this person and my brother? The, 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 I can't even talk. The two crooks that have robbed the family for years, as well as other people. Perry, this is Instagram. You have received two additional strikes on your account for impersonating an accredited weather professional. Account locked. What are you talking about? I'm not trying to be a professional weatherman. If I was, I'd be in school to be a professional weatherman. I'm doing just my version of weather, which is not a professional weatherman. It would have been it would it would have been a smart job to have pursued if I went to school to be a professional weatherman, but I didn't go to school to be a professional weatherman. I went to school to for my health issues. Perry, this is Instagram. Confirming you have accepted the offer to sell your account at Perry Caravello to Amy Liberant for the amount of $19.92. No. Sold. What are you talking about? That's out, of, that's, that's out of the... No. No, 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 no. Nothing is for sale to Amy Liberant. I want them out of my life, okay? I want the freaking... Brian and Amy family out of my life. I'm done with them. Done. Nothing is to be sold to them. I stream everything. Hey, Mike nothing. here. Hey, my podcast guy wants to take you on as a client. Pro set up. Whatever you're giving the Tom guy, we will beat it. More cash for you. Oh, brother. Mike, I don't know. I got, I got a very good chunk of change here, and uh, I don't know what you you could ever give me. I could ever meet up to what, what I get for uh, what I do, so. Perry, this is Instagram. Confirming you have agreed to inflate the boat for Monday, March 20th. Account status set to send me more boats. I love boats. 
Get the fuck out of here! No more boats! If you got a boat sent to my house again, I'm throwing them all in the goddamn trash! I'm talking to no, 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 no! No, no, no more boats! I'll end the fucking stream! I'll end the death! No, I'll never get your computer back! Stop it with me! Stop making me lose my fucking mind! You fuckers! All right, Perry, calm down. That's going a little too far. Calm down. We're That's done. excessive. That's up. excessive. No, it's not over, Perry. Pull yourself together. Let's go. I'm done. I'm done. No, no I'm you're done. not. No, you're not. I'm done. It's former President Jimmy Carter. I'm dying. Can I see the tiger painting? Visit Cincinnati. No. Not Watch enough. Ghostbusters. Inflate the boat, please. I'm dying. There, okay? Tiger painting. That's it. No, no more. I'm not getting up. I'm not moving my paintings off the wall at all. Again. I have your new tagline for your weather stream. It's me, Perry. And if you are looking for a tornado to blow in or for me to just blow, you stay tuned. Hashtag God bless. What the fuck? I, 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 I'm too fucked up right now. I heard you liked the bucket of chili I sent you. Just to let you know, I had my no. in there. How did they taste? Hail Stutter no. and John. I did not like the bucket of chili you sent me if that was from you and you personally. That you so-called the, the Shelby chili that's going to be Kentucky Fried Chicken chili? No, I didn't like it. It was not my manufactured chili. No. It was a, a, a ton, not, not just a little bowl, a fucking ton. Perry, this is Instagram. To verify identity, please show two forms of identification. First is your tattoo. Second form is a tiger poster. Show now. Good day! You've seen enough! Perry, this is Instagram. Confirming your personal info has been changed. Race, African American, religion, Jewish, sexual orientation, bisexual, gay. No comment. Comment. Unlimited bathroom of art technology to block disrespectful comments. And most importantly, the stream ends when you say it ends. How much? You don't know what you're doing, dude. I, I tried to have you on my stream. Oh, my God. Headache. Like, you have no idea. St <laughs> What time is everyone meeting at Perry's apartment for the steel a -thon? I have dibs on the credenza. Well, there better not be anybody breaking into my apartment when, when we're out of town. That's why I'm afraid of leaving town. Jesus Christ. <laughs> As you know, I'm the sexiest president ever. Do me a favor, Pierre. Take off the doll's clothes and oil it, and tell PCL, sexiest president ever. No thank you, President Trump. No thank you. Perry, this is Instagram. Your personal info has been updated. Your wife is now listed as Amy LeBrant. Your job is listed as no, it is homosexual not. weatherman. No, it is not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not.
We can get Gina and Scarlet on. Get over to O'Hearn Network Brother let's take over the streaming world. Oh god. Look, Gina and, and, and Scarlett will be on when they're available. Right now, I don't know where either one of them are. I don't know uh, if Scarlett's still on the East Coast. I don't know if Gina's still in La Jolla. I don't know if she's here in town working on a job. I have no idea where she is. Okay? Perry, this is Instagram. We have reason to believe latest changes are fraudulent. Jurverse updates please show Tiger poster for verification for 30s. Been shown enough, but this is the Tiger poster I will show. Okay? I have a key to Perry's apartment and will be having nightly parties here while Perry is out east. Message me for Perry's address. Dudes only. Who is this? Nobody has a key to my apartment, but but my management. Perry, this is Instagram. Verification failed. We need to see both Tiger posters on screen for 45 I am not seconds removing while them off smiling the wall in order to reverse the fraud. I'm not removing them off the wall anymore. Sorry. No, no, no. This, this, this is just obnoxious. Disrespect, and I'm tired of it. Tired of it. President Clinton here. The oil wrestling was sexy. Reminds me of my Oval Office days. Listen, son, you blow up that boat or Putin wins. Hashtag inflated boat. Monday. Two hours. Trash. <laughs> DSP scams and lies to his fans. He begs for money, yet spends hundreds of dollars on DoorDash, liquor and mobile games. Two thumbs up for PCL crew. Thank you. I will never be like that loser. Hail Satan! Do not hail Satan. But thank you for subscribing, okay? Do not hail Satan. But thank you for subscribing. Perry, I am a famous person online. Give me your credit card. You have man boobs. You have. Why would man I? Boobs. Why would I? You. Why would I? Have man boobs. You have. Why would man I boobs. give you my credit card on the on on online uh, right here? No, thank you. How about a stream where you clean your apartment? You say you're tired of it being filthy, but yet it remains a pigsty. I can send a maid to assist. I've got things that I'll be doing privately. It'll get cleaned. Wow, we just sold another million albums this week. Perry, we sent your cut of the check to your manager Dio Brando as you requested. We're rich now. My manager? I didn't request that. Liars. Tom Brennan is my manager and only Tom Brennan. Fran, the male maids of Reseda have agreed to help clean your dumpy apartment. They will also organize your nude male statues to be next to your bed. What are you talking about? No need ever. From you, you demon worshipping psychopath. Ugh. And here we have the wild lazy bones in his native environment. Thank you. for subscribing from the archives dear president grant if my great great grandson ever receives a boat one day i want him to inflate it signed benito caravello 1892 what whatever
Stupid. <sighs> Attention all pride boys! May 13th we storm Perry's apartment like we storm the White House. Feel free to touch and take anything inside the apartment. That's why I am afraid of leaving town. Oh my god. That is why I'm afraid of leaving town. Hey pair of balls, could you tell the audience about your years as a female impersonator? When you called yourself Caravello for every fellow. Oh shut up, you fucking psychopath! Why has no one slashed this tubbo shit's tires yet? Ping me for his address and pick of his car, get it done. Have fun on the bus. Oh, oh you see, you want to slash ha, my ha, tires ha, ha, now? Ha, ha. My brand new tires. If I find out my tires are slashed, that means you are definitely going to be caught and going to prison. Definitely. I will, I will spend the rest of my life to get a fucking uh, 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 police... Somebody out of Lancaster to fucking find you people and put you behind bars for the rest of your life. I'm tired of this abuse. I mean, evil. First day people. watching your stream, your moderator Amy said all new viewers need to send her their credit card numbers. Our dollar is gone. We are reporting you. What? I, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't even know what to freaking say anymore. These people are out there to destroy us. What do we do? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you for subscribing. Hey, bud. I just got my first residual check from our show on Adult Swim. Swing by Domino's on your way over to celebrate. They have new cheesy melt tots. Oh my god. I want nothing to do with you! Get off my stream! And you have nothing to do with my adult swim either. Nothing. Dirty freaking people. What do I do? Two times a day I jerk fat loads into a super soaker thinking about you. I'm gonna bring it to Pottstown and spackle your face with thick cum shots when I see you. Stay Gun. away from me. Men I don't even want to meet you Gun. face to face. Men holding hands. Stay away from me. I don't even want to see you or meet you face to face. I'm not interested in knowing who you are. Perry, I love you, buddy. But please, you gotta focus. <clears throat> want to stream to end? Then stop dragging your feet. I lose so much sleep because of you, Perry. You guys make me sick. Ugh. Hey, Perry, you've lost some weight recently. Looking good, my dude. Keep it up. I gotta get out of here. That's all. Gotta get out of here. Are you even paying attention? Are you going to comment? On I am. I am. I. 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 have been beaten up by these no, guys. No, well, I know. I. 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 I owe you one. But pay attention to the comments, please. Don't do your own weird uh, narrative. I got a Tom's tips here, and then we're going to wrap up. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Finally. Okay. Uh, Sanjeev the scammer. And he says, Hello, my friend. My lover, Randini Kalahani, sends his best from Mumbai. I wish to be greatest scammer in India. Your fake car crash has inspired us all. Can I have your social security number and your computer password? Thank you, my friend. No way. No way possible. Will you ever get either numbers? Evil bastards. 
Ugh. P. I'm stuck at work making money for you right now. Do me a favor and be professional. I work hard for you. Can you work hard for the fans and the crew? Focus I try. When I'm not feeling good and I'm feeling sick, uh, I, I can't even work hard for myself. What the fuck? You couldn't even promote PCL, once again showing that without Tommy you'd still be given head to casting directors like 1992 hashtag tips for Tom B. Blow it out your ass! Blow it out your ass! Putting these away. He should kick her. I rented a U-Haul for May 13th going to empty out your shithole apartment. Probably stop by Chase too. Ha 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 ha. There'll be bodyguards. There'll be cops. There'll be. I'll have this place guarded, so you're not. There's nobody that's going to be coming in the mirror. Nobody. Don't cry, you scamming little queef. We will leave you one dollar and thirty-four cents, so you don't have to fake another disability. Ha 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 Can you stop looking down, please? I am. No, I'm not looking down. I'm touching my chest with my chin because of my neck. Oh, come on. Shake it off. Fuck off, motherfucker. My neck is on fucking fire. My neck. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I have I have neck problems because of my neck surgeries. Okay. So that's why I'm 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 touching my my chin to my chest because of the neck pains. Okay, now about this this evil evil uh, sister-in-law of mine that thinks she's so effing funny that's gonna uh, rob my bank accounts. Uh, go right ahead, girl, so I can find an easier way to put you behind bars. Go right ahead, make the attempt, and it'll be an easier way to put you in prison. You evil, sick, psychotic weirdo! Trying to keep my mouth clean. Other than swearing up a storm. <sighs> we raided the Callahan Taliban and got Gina out. Also, we saved and died Zach to drive truck won't start. Whatever. Dear Mr. Perry Caravello Callahan, will Randy be giving you another pearl necklace for your 30th wedding anniversary? I'm not married to another man. I divorced my wife in 91. Okay? That never, ever, ever happened. Since Perry is making excuses about the pool party, I am announcing today that everyone will be unblocked from Perry's Twitter account. What? <sighs> Tom, that's also what you're in charge of, too. So... In 92, you kicked down RC's door rock hard and high on crack looking for a rape victim. You wouldn't take no for an answer. Goodbye. Tired of it. Goodbye. Sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of it. Shall I give Amy LeBron full control of Perry's Twitter account? 666 for yes, what? 1992 for no. Elon Musk, you do that, we're going to sue you for the billions of dollars that you have. Hey, you fat little Guido Toad. There's only room for one Italian weather god and that's me. 
Stay in your only tubby. Oh, Grandma Robin says hi. And Tori, go away. Congratulations. The business loan you co-signed has been approved. The first payment will be due on the 31st. We wish you and Amy success, Chase Bank. No, I never signed any any business loan. I never I, I never signed a business loan. It was a forgery. Get me out of here so I can go to the bank now to fix this. Perry, I'm 10 minutes away. I have a 14-foot inflatable boat I'm delivering. You Get love this boat. I will blow it up for you and maybe blow you too. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm, I got to get to the bank now. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, Perry, quick hypothetical. Would you rather smash the credenza or reunite the big three with your friend Don and best friend Mole? Never! 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 I never want to be with those two assholes. Perry, I love you, buddy. But please. You gotta focus. You want to stream to end? Then stop dragging your feet. I lose so Shut much sleep because of you, Harry. Stop dragging my feet. Stop making me fucking disgusting and, and, and exhausted mentally with with all this garbage you people keep throwing at me over and over and over and over and over. Can't even talk. Hey Perry, you've lost weight recently? Looking good, my dude. Keep it up. Thank you. Let me get to the bank and find out what's going on. Hey Perry, you're an interesting fellow. Just wanted to let you know you have a fan in me. I'm learning so much from you. Keep up the good work. Steve Martin, my friend, I'm honored. It's been a long time. Keep up the good work to me, thank you, and keep up the good work to you as well. Attention all thieves. Hot tip. On May 12th and 13th, apartment 102 at Villa La Paloma will be unattended. Easy steal job. Valuable furniture. <sighs> Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this? You expect me to leave town? That ain't gonna freaking happen. Attention Los Angeles thieves, check Villa La Paloma on May 13th. Easy theft opportunity. Apartment 102 will be empty. Credenza for taking. No, no, I, I can't go out of town. I can't go anywhere because of these evil bastards. I can't go anywhere. All right, Perry, I got one final Tom's Tips here. And uh, you know what? I actually just uh, received a $1,000 gift certificate to Ruth Chris. So whoever sent that, that's very nice. Thank you. Uh, $1,000 gift certificate to Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Oh, it's actually from Kenny Caravello, who the Tom's Tip is from. My hey. brother sent you a $1,000 gift certificate? To Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Hey, Tom, this is Perry's brother, Kenny. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'd like to apologize on my behalf, on my brother, for him being such a piece of shit. He's dumber, less attractive, less successful, and way worse with money than I am, which is why it was so easy to scam him. With that said, it's appalling that he doesn't have the decency to send you so much as a thank you letter after all these years of you looking out for him. You are the reason why he's not homeless and sucking off men for food on the streets. He's an ungrateful pig. He can't even list a single thing he's ever done for you. So, let me say thank you for caring for my mentally challenged brother. Here is a $1,000 gift card to Ruth Chris. Please treat all of the PCL crew except for Perry. He deserves to eat McDonald's out of the trash. Best regards. Kenny Caravello, the true king of streaming. You're going to accept that? Because I won't.
Except what? The, the card? The, the remark he made. Well, I mean, the Tom's tips is, is the, the gift card's for me. The Tom's tip is for you. Okay. Are you just going to look at napkins? Well, I'm just going to be disgusted because of how evil he is he is to all of the family the entire family he him and kenny some, i mean him and brian both points though he made some fair points though look i am i have my my mental problem because of my head injury okay uh and that was over 40 years ago i know i'm on medication yeah, for excuses, it excuses excuses uh one more tom's tip sorry i forgot about this one ready this is from our friend Wangler. Attention, PCL fans. <laughs> Terry is once again lying. We know he lied about his car crash and <laughs> lied about skateboarding and he lied about being an actor. But did you know Perry has also made up the Randy Callahan story? I did 12 Nexus Lexus searches and there has Bye. never been a man named Randy Callahan as a casting director. It's time for Perry to come forward with evidence to back up his claims. Goodbye. Uh, Perry, you gotta say more than just goodbye. That was a lot there. Look, moron! Uh, Randy Callahan was my first extras casting director. Total Eclipse Productions, Studio City, or Sherman Oaks or Studio City, I forget what city it was in. Uh, where that address is, I'm not sure what that address is. It's either Studio City or Sherman Oaks. <clears throat> but there's nothing more that I'm going to talk about because I'm right. done talking about it. All right, Perry, it's time for your favorite done. part of the stream, your plugs. Plugs. Is it our website for official PCL merch? Yeah, the turqu turquoise blue, which is not an easy read. PerryCaravelloLive.com. Next day access is next day access to stream and bonus content. There we go. Patreon.com forward slash Perry Caravello. Subscribe on YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash Perry Caravello Live. Order a cameo. Cameo.com forward slash Perry Caravello. <clears throat> Join our Facebook group. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Perry Caravello. Excuse me, my throat. Uh, Facebook groups, Facebook pets, share your pets. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash PCL pets. Join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash Perry Caravello live. Correct? Yeah. Follow us on uh, Twitter at P underscore C underscore L underscore official and at Perry, Perry underscore Caravello. You sometimes see me on Perry underscore Caravello. Follow us on Instagram at Perry Caravello Live and again at Perry Caravello, which you also see me on on a regular basis on the Instagram. Follow us on uh, TikTok at Perry Caravello. And if you folks would like to kindly send me mail, send the mail to Perry Caravello Live, 18960 Ventura Boulevard. Box 209, Tarzana, California, 91356. Do not forget, send uh, um, bank bill, uh, billiard trucks loaded with money to that oh, address. Speaking of, oh. don't forget, uh, don't forget that Perry will be in Pottstown, PA on May 13th. And look at this, Perry. Look at this. They, they heard the criticism and they actually fixed the flyer. Uh, still not the world's greatest looking flyer, but... Perry will be in Pottstown, PA for the Uncle Rico Show Live with stand-up featuring Bob Levy, Shuli, and Mike Morse with special guest Anthony Cumia. Well, Casey people Armstrong. break into my Perry, apartment Perry, and steal Perry, my Perry, I am right in the middle of, of... Do you have to talk over me right in the middle of me promoting your live show? And anyway, and the great Perry Caravella will be there. It's Saturday, May 13th at 6 p.m. Get your tickets now. Look at those prices. VIP ticket for 40 bucks. You get to meet Perry. Come on. Show some PCL love. Let's get there, and Perry will also, uh, well, he'll be in New York after that. He's going to go on the Anthony Cumia show as well as Chrissy Mars, The Wet Spot, on uh, the Anthony Cumia Network Compound Media. Go to 
theshulinetwork.com for tickets to the event. What were you going to say? What was your great inj- interjection, Perry? Uh, I don't want to go because of the fear of having my place broken into. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Perry, Perry will be there. He, like I said, he's going to cancel about a thousand and one times between now and then. Perry will be there. Don't worry. I'm going to have to get bodyguards to keep an eye on my place. That's all. Perry Caravella, this is Amazon. Confirming your order of 12 inflatable boats will be delivered pre-inflated. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not send one more boat to my home at all. Every boat that appears in my home after this Harry is Caravella, in the trash. This is Amazon. Confirming we have an additional order of nine more pre-inflated boats being delivered on Monday, March 20th. Congrats. No! No, no! All boats delivered to my home go in the garbage! They will not be seen on TV! They will not be seen on the internet! They go directly in the trash! Not even my boss, Tom Brennan, is going to know that the boats went in the trash. They all go right in the trash. End of story, over and out. I am done. We are done. This is it. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the stream. I will see you on the next stream. See you Friday, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Thank you, Ricky folks. Horny, Ricky Horny. Yeah. Ricky Horny, Ricky Horny. Ricky Horny.